showtime. Oi, oi, Flat Earth British, Martin Leitka speaking. Testing, testing. Row, row, row your boats gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a... No shit. Good to see you all, guys. Just check my comms in order. And everything's coming through. I re on, inter on the uh, interwebble. Okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty fantastic. Good to see you all, guys. Thank you all for waiting. Uh, we're getting off a little bit early tonight. It's going to be a busy realm tonight on the um, on the trophy realm. But there's not going to be any better place than to be here tonight. Are you in the mood for getting your mind blowing, seeing beautiful things, and having a giggle later on? Do you fancy that? No shit. We're going to have such a good time here, guys. I'm really, really in business here with this post. I'm really going to enjoy presenting it to you. Um, later on, we're going to have a little giggle, as I said. Now, if you do not laugh at what I'm going to present later, then I don't think you're actually alive. It's difficult to say because this is definitely going to invoke some sort of feelings inside of you, which will be positive. OK, because that is what we're going to do here today. We're going to have a party. We're going to have a party with Martin. Yeah, it's a special kind of special kind of party. Okay, I got special party abilities. Haven't I share? Yeah, no shit. So that's three no shits. We'll start with that. <laughs> anyway, welcome all. Thank you for popping by. This is um our weekly flat a day. It's been a crazy week on the realm. Literally, my head is spinning. Okay, I don't don't know which way is up or which way is down because that's what we're gonna talk about. This place has been reversed. Reversed, it has. We are going backwards. I'm going to offer a, a ton of evidence to you in this post, which will show you that nothing is new under the sun. And all of these super technologies that they're rolling out all of the time are just old technologies again rolled out. Now, I'm just going to make a statement here. I really do think that this is the stupidest reset in history. It really is. Bring it on already. It's just rubbish. Okay, it's slow and icky, isn't it? Lucky we're here to keep it all vibrationally up because, you know, they suck a bit, don't they? Just saying. So I'm going to be talking a lot in this post, guys. So buckle in, relax, get all loosey-goosey. We're going to have a good time. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, so reversed. I think that we are going backwards. Can you imagine if we were in a, a reset, like a realm, um, you know, after some sort of schism and reset, um, where we were like Benjamin Button, all going in reverse. How <laughs> would you even know if you never had no frame of reference? Like you start old and then you get younger. Wouldn't that be freaky? And you wouldn't even know. And then you'd think like your philosophy would be uh, to get back to the end and go back in again and be reborn. It's just the reverse. Now, this place has definitely been reversed, guys. Up is down, um, almost like the mirror, the mirror realm and reflections. And funnily, funnily enough, um, the law of reflection was just brought up in comments uh, by Shiva Shampoo, which was a bit of a sink considering what I was thinking about. I've had a strong suspicion since childhood about mirrors, you know, the mirror in your bathroom, mirrors. And it only got solidified with the Endless amount of alchemical images, alchemical sculptures, etc., which will show you Phoenicians holding mirrors. They are all about the mirrors. And this Phoenician paradigm, you know, it's all about vanity, like Vanity Fair and all. I really do think that it's some sort of surreptitious invasion or reversal. How would we even know if we never, if we were stolen and they used reflections? as a portal, as a gateway from the mirror realm. You don't know when you're looking in that mirror and you see the door behind you in the mirror, you don't know what's beyond that door. I know it's in the mirror and it's a reflection. Everything is reversed, but you do not know. And whoever's on the other side of the mirror might be thinking exactly the same of you. Spooky. So we're going to think about whether or not, I'm going to offer um, a wealth, I think, of evidences supporting, I think, personally, myself, only me, um, that this realm at some stage was a major 
mining operation, that the whole place was just a quarry. I think that large bits of this realm got literally ripped away, carried away possibly, um, and all of the extra mud after a mud flood had to go somewhere. I'm going to offer some ideas of where all of this mud and all of this mining spoil ended up to start this post. And then we're going to move on to, I'm going to show a wealth of evidences to show you nothing you under the sun. So I'm going to show you um, the communications of 100 years ago, advancements, the wireless technologies of 100 years ago, the free energy um, advancements of 100 and years ago. We're going to go through some books that got sent in. I'm grateful for uh, whoever sent these in. Um, modern electrics books from 1909, which show you um, well, it's what is essentially free energy sorts of equipment, but advanced electrical uh, technologies. I'm going to show you how advanced the transport and travel was in the, if you want to call it the golden age of Tataria. But in the past, <laughs> we're going to be looking at um, some evidences for advanced technologies in the past, looking at ancient Assyrian remains in really early photographs in Iran and Iraq. And I'm going to show you a Victorian book that I dug up, which was really, really cool, I thought, of um, magic tricks. Now, they were big on magic tricks in the Victorian period, and they liked to show you how these are done. And some of them are like, oh, yeah. So I'm going to have a look at them. I thought that was really interesting. And we're going to have a think about if, whether or not there was some sort of schism or event that happened in 1902, because the records all go fuzzy and there's a lot of stuff that is just postponed and there seems to be a bit of a glitch going on. In the 1902 mark, almost as if everyone got up in the morning and was like, I thought my house was painted a different colour. No, maybe not. Hey ho, on with the show. A bit like that, a bit like what's happening in the modern realm. So 300 of you have just turned up. Blast from the Past, yeah, that was a cool film though. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, Bass from the Past with the Whale. That was funny. So I'm going to give you a few of you shouts, let a few people gather in. Okay. Make sure if you can to share this out because we're going to have a lot of juice. It's going to be a lot of really groovy images. Anything that I share, I'm going to share these books and everything in the description box below following this video. Now, Edna Bell and Valerie. Thank you so much, Valerie. Much love to you as well. And Vibes and Layla and Claire. We've all been having a oh, Claire's been having a chat each in in the chat feed for ages. And there's Jamie Vicious. Salutations, broski. They sent me Cheryl. Um, look in the mirror to see you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. No, I forgot. It's not that anymore, is it? Apparently in this realm, it's magic mirror on the wall, which it was like never. Uh, fucking hell. Everybody knows that it's mirror, mirror on the wall. God. Joe Guilford's Mike, good to see you. Pamela Swan woohooing us, bringing the woohoo vibration into the house. Yay, yay, yay. Fuck it, fuck it anyway, guys, yeah? This is the epic, I'm, this moment in time, right? We're going to make this moment in time because they suck and we don't. Yeah, so we may as well make the most of it and celebrate that fact. <laughs> I know, it's good, isn't it? Celebrate. So... All I've been getting loads of emails in, people saying that they've got their drives and they're super sweet, happy with them. The 47,000 images of mine, which I've sent out on drives, <coughs> and 7,150 books, half of mine, half of Jason Archaics, which I've been selling as well. 90% of them, I've got like literally nailed it now, guys, to copy in. I got like they're all sorted out and the post office thing, I've got all that sorted out. So everyone's getting them. John Levy, he had his. So he might be showing them on his next Sunday vlog. I'll be watching that. Um, there's more. Okay, I'm back on. I'm back on. I'm, I'm ahead. So if you want any, you can see him linked up. Okay, that's 30, sorry, 47,000 juicy images of antiquity. Good to making content if you are a YouTube provider. And books, enough to last lifetimes of all, all books, juicy books, and every book you can actually think of. It's actually fantastic. So they're going to be pinned in the chat feed there. You can see Dave kindly did in Arizona. We're going to be rolling through Arizona, just saying, Dave. So all of this, um, if 
perfectly honest with you, is hence the means to keep me alive when I'm in America, because I'm going to America shortly. I'm sort of trying to, you know, get things together here, because the last time I went, I went on a wing and a prayer, um, which is probably not the best thing to do, but it all worked out sweet and everything was beautiful and the mountains were absolutely fantastic. But <laughs> I want a bit of, um, you know, independent security, like having something on me instead of going on a wing and a fucking prayer on fuck all, if that makes any sense, guys. All the Americans, they just sorted me off, though they were awesome. So, but I'm going back, okay, to do great works, great truth in things. Okay, guys, it's going to be fantastic. Because it's been raining for months on end here. It really sucks, Britain. And it's like, it's, I know it looks pretty out there now, but there's a cold wind and it's August and summer's nearly done. Um, Nostradamus used a black mirror. Yeah, he did, Bonnie. Yeah, I've covered Nostradamus in my last book, a chapter on him. Um, and I've talked about him for absolute years. First time I ever heard that name, it, it sent shockwaves through my reality, from all my realities. I was like, oh shit, what is that? What does that name mean? First time I heard that, I was a kid. Uh, Claire, there you are, and John, good to see you. Warren, have no seat. Mm -hmm. uh, Shiva, don't know why I did that. Joe, thank you for everything, Joe, you're lovely. And free M I G M, hello to you too. But I say higher because hell, low, higher. But I don't give a shit about all that. Yeah. The thing is, is I was thinking about it. It's like, my mother always used to say, Martin, you're really wicked. And I don't think she meant that in a you're wicked way. Okay. So if being naughty, not bad, but naughty, um, makes me feel so happy and so good, then it must be a good thing. That makes sense. Fuck yeah. So I'm not doing their rule book. Their rule book sucks. If you do, if you go by their rule book, you know, all of them boring ass fuckers out there, yeah. You ain't never going to have any fun in this place. Just letting you know. Okay? Okay, <laughs> okay Deborah. I'm not in so logical. No shit. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Weird rule books. Like the Bible. Yeah? That's a weird rule book. That's a really weird book. There's a lot of gnarly shit going on there. If it was in today's society, they'd all be fucking hung, hung drawn and quartered. I don't know what the fuck is... If they did that in the modern day, maybe they should bring it back. <laughs> Enoch, good to see you. So, right, we're going to get stuck into the juice because it's a busy realm out, out there tonight. There's loads of shit going down in, in the truth community. Loads of people posting, loads of liveies. Everyone's up and about. There's lovely Joe in the house, AZ and Jolly Man and Man Who's Truth Seeker and Dr. the Rook. Good to see you. And see Ben. Good to see you, mate. Scottish. And Ricky, good to see you, my friend. And I think my son, Lawrence Leaker, is in you somewhere. There he is. Well, Dragon Metals. Uh, Mirror Old One, Silver Backed, indeed. And um, Silver was one of the greatest things which were mined in the Tatarian Empire. In interestingly. Um, back doesn't silver, repels evil like werewolves. Oh, yeah, silver bullet, like that. Um, yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot of clues in your films. I think the vampire narrative, the Hollywood keep going on about. I think there's something like that going on. You know, I can see the elite, whatever they are. I can't even say what, you know, you don't even know what gender they are. But like in an interview with a vampire, or is it interview with the vampire? Anyway, so, you know, they live like hundreds of years, don't they? They go all like, you know, Dory and Grey, don't they? Have a good time like for hundreds of years and they got to drink blood and shit to keep them going. Them elites are doing all that. They do sacrificial blood drinking in the church. They do. It's weird. And they do sacrificial cannibalism. Well, let's eat some, let's eat some good flesh, mate. What's going on with that? Or maybe I'm wrongly interpreting it all, is it? Doesn't feel comfortable. Feels like that. that's all bad. That's what it feels like. Just saying. Okay, let's get into some juice. Is this place or was this realm in the past? And I'm going like I'm thinking this, you know. In the film Noah, yeah. So in the film Noah with um, Russell Crowe, if you have seen that, beforehand, they wreck this realm before the major flood with industrialization. They literally quarry it to shit before Noah's flood. I'm proposing that there may be an element of truth to that. And this place, before Noah's Flood, was a giant quarry. I'm going to offer evidence for 100% has to be advanced technology. 
a highly advanced, better than what they got today in the way off past in different resets coming up to the Victorian era where they had Antiquatech and free energy. They bring in the Tesla Edison narrative, you know, the Hegelian dialectic. There's not enough evidence for me personally. I don't care what anyone else does, but that Tesla actually, you know, existed because there's no video footage for this guy who's immensely famous and everything just got shit out of nowhere. Uh, maybe 10 years ago on the internet about Tesla, you know, 369, etc., which was the roading roading code anyway. And then it suddenly is Tesla and then Elon Musk. I don't trust that guy, that actor or whoever they are and the one in the bodysuit. And these cars are called Tesla. Even put one in space, Tesla. It's, just, it's all fake. It's so real. It looks fake. No, I'm just saying. That's just me personally. I need more evidence of things, guys, you know, like all of it really okay belief that's not a good thing that's that's the killer of any advancement in spiritual advancement yeah because you're just going to close down keep yourself in a box never think any forward i got all the answers and i'm going to shout at anyone who says that i haven't because that's what people do you know i admit that i know little of this room what i have learned has been in a think tank with you guys i've learned more in the last 10 years than i have in the rest of my life combined but i have been reading most of it being a what you reading books for looks like we got ourselves a reader i was one of one of them book readers okay so i'm gonna share some usage with you in the chat feed make sure to please if you would like i said share this out gets crowd over i'm gonna whiz through first we're going to be looking at the po very high possibility i think <laughs> now there are two schools of thought with this a lot of people you know there's a, a school of thought about meltology isn't there that all buildings um ended up melted and fused in a some sort of phoenix event and or some sort of plasma discharge event and then covered in water and they're like mesas etc but what about volcanoes what about Mount Etna? Jenny, who's our truth seeker 69, she've pulled up ma old maps where Vesuvius isn't even there. Is it possible that these are just mining spoil acting like compost heaps, getting heat in the middle, hotter and hotter over time, and then erupting? Anyway, we're going to look at the evidence. See what we think here. So I'm going to offer some uh, evidences. These are in the Philippines. Now, in the south coast of Britain, in Wiltshire and Somerset, near sort of the town of Glastonbury, you get these humps that are in a flat plain, and then they're just these random humps. Um, even what Glastonbury Tor um, looks like, it's just a random hump. Like these, to me, look like they could have been just giant scoops out of some massive, massive mining machinery. These are in the Philippines. And then you get these mesas. Flat mesas. Some people say chopped off trees, possibly. Other people, um, giant animals. Yeah, not feeling any of that myself. And this is in China when you get a crazy topography. So this sort of just annihilates any geological thinking anyway. I don't go with any of the current uh, geology mounts, uh, Java, and it's a volcano, and it's a massive volcano in a land that is all flat all the way around it now what i find interesting is all volcanoes most volcanoes actually guys all are situated on what is regarded as the ring of fire meaning that they're all on the coast around the pacific ocean or well, the majority are there's other you know places like greenland or iceland have got but i'm saying predominantly most volcanoes they will tell you are in the ring of fire and that they're on the Pacific coast. And they all look like that they are falling in with the weight of all of the debris. And you really do get the sense that some of these are just mining spoil. And, you know, even this topography inside, you know, this lines, you know, uh, gives me the sense of some sort of machining. Now, that one, you know, it's a volcano. It definitely looks like, you know, mining spoil and they do have really really big mining spoils from coal mines in wales they bring up mountains of what is called slag slag um 
And sometimes they give way in the rain and kill hundreds of Welsh children. The National Call Board's never held accountable for Aberfan, by the way. That should be something that's corrected, along with a lot of other things that should be corrected. So that happened on one of their satanic calendar dates, Aberfan disaster in Wales. Just deliberate sacrifice. So these. No, I can't imagine. That's this is just me again, my opinion. Um, that the whole of the Himalayans was the Himalaya mountain range was some vast city. It just it's just not resonating with me. And these they look more like mining spoil than anything else I can possibly imagine. I got a friend, Patrick, worked in some of the biggest mines in the world, one in New Caledonia, New York, Australia, and these things were all over it, all over the island, deposited by large machinery. And the narrative that we say for the Colorado River cutting through the Grand Canyon and making all of these high walls. Now, a lot of people, because of the existence of some sort of buildings, Egypt, Egyptian stuff as well it, that have been found in the Grand Canyon, and these strange uprights that you get, they look like they got a foundation, which really do look, do look like it might be an older world. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm saying that you have buildings and cities connected with quarrying. And it could be a bit of both. These mesas, indeed, Arizona mesas, they look like buildings. This looks like one of those giant buildings you see in Russia. And this one looks like a sphinx. And But again, do you see these lumps of dirt all in front of them well you get these in mines i'll show you some examples and these very possibly mine and spoil they look out of pace i can't imagine geographically uh geologically what formations could have you know aroused these pimples to just stick about the ground on flat plains and they always are on flat plains these these sort of things you see completely flat and then boom a giant uh lump of shit you can imagine if it did behave like a compost heap, heat baking in the middle. I do sort of feel that these look like tree trunks, though. <laughs> but can you imagine if the whole thing was just chiseled out and scraped out by massive machinery, and then these things were just left? Maybe the rock was too hard. Just one school of thought. A lot of people like to think that these are ancient buildings or even trees. In a lot of cases, they do look like trees in this image. <laughs> A couple of schools of thought. We're on the road to nowhere. And these mesas are beautiful. No doubt about it. Um, is this just mining spoil or baked uh, cities? Again, some of these are like a chalk-like affair. And you get the White Cliffs of Dover, either that the whole of Britain just got pulled up out of the water, or some machinery's come along and it's just raked away all of the great white cliffs of Dover. So these are some of the machinery you have in the past. Nothing new under the sun. I think that there's a bit, very high possibility that they are a lot bigger than this in the past. If you look at the strata behind, they leave these lines. And when these uh, shovels are, and they leave uh, horizontal lines as well, as you'll see. Okay, and they are absolutely massive. So imagine, <laughs> um, let's just make up a scenario that there were some visitors, sea peoples, maybe they came from another land and they needed to clear the mud out and they needed a ton of earth. They needed a lot of earth and they scraped it away from this, these continents, this land, scraped it all off of the continents and the land with massive machines. Who even knows how long this took? Where did they take the earth? We'll have a little think about that. But what you do get is this spoil. You get it. There should be a lot bigger spoil at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, and there's not. This is some point that's brought up with its uh, thought to be you know, ancient civilization. This one, um, strange strata, look maybe stone-like, but equally, this could have been scraped away by some massive digger in the past. This, this is a quarry. This is a quarry that was raked away in the past, not glaciation, but a quarry. We have many examples. Um, this is in the Crimea. <clears throat> and these are mining spoil, and they look exactly like the same as them volcanoes that we just witnessed. Just a 
a lump or a hill pillet of earth well this this is crazy topography these sheer hundreds of foot high walls off a plane so again uh, geologically i can't imagine how these got formed nothing to do with glaciation or but events yeah sure i can see that but um mining and quarrying yeah maybe and what are they doing with the stone building their world where's their world what i think about that so in uh, Asia as well, you get the sides of hills all cut away and they put paddy fields on them, but they are massive and they say that they are ancient. They don't know who the builders are. And the Grand Canyon, again, look at the sheer face on that. A really, really smooth face. And, and that really strange crack, which is looks to be really horizontal, that. Can't see any stonework maybe there. But again, uh, it could be a mix between civilization and a quarry. You get all this spoil that you would get associated with quarrying. Again, you know, this is a really crazy formation, guys, here in the Grand Canyon. Or in, no, this is in the jungle somewhere. I've seen people jumping off, off this with them sky suits. Um, whatever could have caused it. Whatever forces could have caused that. What's all I read in there? That's quite interesting. It looks like blood. But yeah, what a strange formation. That could have been some sort of wall, looking at that, rather than a coal mining, or a, excuse me, mining. So there it is, the Grand Canyon. Again, you know, it does have some sort of attribution. You imagine the size of it was the city, but I'm just saying it just, if you imagine them diggers coming up here, raking it all away, and then taking it out to the Pacific coast, and putting it all on humongous ships cargo ships or badges and taking it elsewhere that's a really interesting mesa look at that it's all square that does look like a building that one <laughs> look how straight that is there but again equally guys um it could have been dug away by um you know a great digger and all of this spoil um is exactly what it is spoil and the issue as well so equally it could be that these antarctica how do we know what is in Western Antarctica? Could have been a massive uh, mining operation there because you see these features apparently from a plane in Antarctica. Obviously, I can't verify this, but you see these? They're really strange sort of cuttings that you see. But wherever it is, you know, that is there. And that's the source of scale you get in the modern day. Nothing new under the sun. I think they had them a lot bigger in the past. And look how they cut it away, guys. Yeah. Similar sort of strata that it leaves, which we're seeing in the landscape. So we got some of the biggest mines in the world. They got one open cast mine in Wales. Um, I seen it once years ago. It was the biggest toll in the world I've ever seen. It was just unimaginably big i couldn't even believe that we dug it out you know lit trucks massive trucks with just dots on a road here it was phenomenal but okay that's a mine and that is a mine look at the size of them these are the trucks they're just absolutely tiny compared to the sort of uh you know excavations that they're doing in these places just phenomenal this this is in the crimea and also there's been a mining operation there in the crimea in ottoman uh, excuse me in oh excuse me what is the name it'll come to me in a minute anyway in this area of baraclava you get these mesas which is already proved to be all of this i tell you it is old masonry uh excuse me old uh quarrying but this looks like masonry definitely and fused mm. but look at that one there and then there but yeah so ottoman pass this is in the crimea and there's uh some images of it in uh the uh crimean war 1850s you can see some traps there stop things going through some greco-romano hole going through that mountain but all of this year and there's statues giant statues in here is mining and it looks a lot like a lot of the topography which we're looking at in others advanced technology i talked about them on my show the other day with jason at kx of uh, sound maybe softening them or some uh, unknown advanced technology 3d printing evens on the cards but that 
is they can't replicate that today. They need composition. They need mortar, mort, like dead stuff. Kind of thinking that they were doing that. You know, why are the bricks red? Is it real? Is it really iron oxide? And what about the building of St. Petersburg? Okay, the Winter Gardens, the Hermitage, uh, St. Uh, excuse me, Alexander the Great, and on this column. Now, this column here is said to have been put here by um, Peter the Great, who himself actually lives in a log cabin, but he built all of this great antiquity, according to the narrative. Um, but this year is one piece of marble. One piece of marble. How are they machining that in the 1700s? How are they building any of this in the 1700s according to the official narrative when it shows advanced machining? Can you imagine a horse bringing that? Look at the size of it to people. It's just a ridiculous notion. And this is not the only giant um, marble column that you'll find in St. Petersburg. It's just massive ones up in the air, hundreds of feet in the air. They got them up there. This year is um, a granite bath in St. Petersburg also, and it weighs... 48 tons so either they got giants because there's no reason man is going to build a bath of 48 tons made of solid granite the hardest stone one of the hardest stones to work with imaginable again some of the technology to work granite in such a nature and the weight of it a sound maybe to soften it something like that going on a lot of people say geopolymer i'm not so so well on that uh, sound and vibration can soften stone and like i said this is a mining facility just looks like some of the strata we examine so i'm just putting it out there look at that wow that's a big nasty hole in the world so i can't imagine um gaia or earth uh, being very you know into having big massive holes dug in her so that's like bad karma, I think, anyway, doing all that, don't you? So that's what happens in the past, required a flood. So this is supposed to be over Antarctica, but apparently, you know, jets can just fly over there. It's weird how everyone's not going down there on holidays and stuff to go and have a look at Antarctica, isn't it? Fly over Antarctica. Take a look at it from above. No you know fucking weird restrictions isn't it funny how the antarctica treaty is up for renewal on the day of the next phoenix event or the year of the next phoenix event so this is supposed to be an antarctic but as you can see can you see the spoil at the bottom so even down there they may have been doing it or out there mesa tree again it's got that spoil all of this stuff that's just falling off it but that does look a bit cubic but again <laughs> Could have just dug it away that too giant machines looks identical actually to what we witnessed with the other modern day and um, what about cutting giant drills do you think this is a natural thing or what to make all them striations uh this striations happen when something gets pulled apart i've got a meteorite around my neck it's got exactly the same striations from when it apparently come apart and this crack here do you think that's natural or cut from some ancient quarry that's taken away giant stones to build something somewhere else just throwing it out there look at these oxbow lakes that eventually will be these winding rivers like the colorado that go and snaking through also funnily enough identical to a lot of the modern mines that you see in the modern day with giant excavators leaving a similar topography and the coastline of Britain or most of the place we have steep cliffs in the south coast of Britain and Wales proper steep guys and uh, what well, looks like a civilization exists in a lot of places in Wales but on the beach like all of this either come up all of a sudden or the some machines came in here Maybe you see what's even there, who even knows, and just raked all this away, just stealing the land, stealing the island all the way and taking the land elsewhere. So look at that for spoil. Again, could that be what volcanoes? I've seen this image many times and just pondered, you know, what forces could have caused these massive towers? Skyscrapers solidified, vitrified. Who even knows? Or 
some crazy mining scheme of the past. And ancient technology, this always gets me this one. Apparently, um, you can chisel eyelashes with a chisel and a hammer. Yeah, you can't do that. That's just fucking stupid. So there's some sort of advanced technology going on with these old world cemetery art statues, classical statues. They look too human-like. There's something going on with them. And I would put it that there's some sort of exceptionally advanced technology going on in the past to create these lifelike, even 3D printing. You know, we look at the fishermen in Burgonia many, many times, been talking about it for years, but it's a phenomenon because how did you do this in stone? The fisherman blows everyone's mind. How you can literally have all of these ropes and all of the twines chiseled out of stone. How do you, oh, marble, marble, this rock hard marble, and there's no room for error. If you get it wrong, then you'll start all over again. So there would have been no room for error with this. And how do you chisel rope? And it's see-through as well. This is stone. This is marble. It is the most mind-blowing thing. Again, with the hermetic stuff, you've got the orb, the orb, that ball that is ever prevalent in these sort of alchemical setups. But advanced technology, there's no doubt about it. And these paddy fields you see in China elsewhere, just, I think, ancient mining looks exactly like it. And you see these. These are in Europe. You can get them in the Balkans. You can get them in America even as well. There's some examples in Texas. They say um, eons or whatever of uh, cat and horse. Eon came down here, okay, over eons and scraped all of the rock away with its wood wood scraping rock away no no i think that there's probably some rails or some sort of maglev or some sort of high technological transport happening here and i think this is the evidence for it we're going to have a look at some ideas of what we think was going on with this uh with this earth and this land so they do it now don't they they make islands, and this is obviously in Dubai, out of sand. They pack it all down and apparently build massive skyscrapers on them because it's all rock hard and fine. So what if, what if, that's what they were doing with this place. They were mining it, taking all of the earth elsewhere. Even, is this a hint in Dubai? They literally built an earth. Although it's not um, azimuth or equidistant. I wonder what that is at the bottom. It's not Antarctica, is it? <laughs> they built Earth, guys. Hint, hint. But look at it. This, you know, high rises that big on what is reclaimed land in the sea using packed sand. Look at the size of what looks like some sort of cathedral here on the sand spit. You know, they did this with uh, Port Royal, and that never went very well when there was uh, any seismic activity. This is all going to turn to shit, and they're all going to sink. But they're not worried about it. But it's just going to show the scale that they will go to to, to rebuild out in the sea using existing um, earth, and in this case, sand and earth and everything else. So what if they were taking it elsewhere? Build their own worlds and stole it all. I bet some of these would fit in your lovely. And isn't it interesting how um, you can't really see it on the Azimuth or Equidistant, but how Africa on the map nicely sits into South America. It all snugs in like it was once sitting there. Or in this case, something come along, scooped it all away, took it down this way, and then built all lands outside. A bit like what they did with Dubai. And remember, this is some sort of vessel, and there are pirates in yeah, and the Phoenicians, the strange sea peoples, the masters of water, still in control. Your Bano Monte map came out of nowhere, again showing massive lands all the way around. What if they just mined it all and built all these lands out there? And isn't it funny how it, it gives you some sort of barrier as well, like to sort of protect the middle bit? I thought about that before, but it is. 
you know, if there was any water like all around, like it is showing on the Abano Monte map, this wall would protect us from it. And it's all the way around the center bit. It's not interesting. Almost as if they built some sort of big wall all the way around us to protect us. There's that wall there. You can see Western Antarctica looks completely different. This is a, a Dutch military uh, map. They use azimuth for equidistance, same as the UN. And then this been flying around for some time. They seem to, somebody's imagined the names of these places, Foth, the moving island. I've talked about moving islands. And again, that scenario that they could have took them out there and just built these places for what they scooped out of here. I wonder if that would fit into their just saying. school of thought. What's this place? A quarry. Anyway, we're moving on because there's a lot to get through. So, at 550, oh, no, 650 ITU. Thank you for, for popping by. If you would be so kind as to share this, I'll get more diverse audience over and all the people that got nothing to do tonight, they're doing shit shit all and there's all fantastic stuff happening here <clears throat> okay so futuristic cities um i want to talk a little bit about these so these are all it's all over instagram and TikTok, all about the expositions so i started talking about these maybe 2016 17 wondering what was going on with them um brought in brought them to everyone's attention and now they're everywhere everyone's talking about rooms but there are channels there are people out there that are suspicious thinking that these were actually built in the period that they say they were built i think there's a lot of anomalies although you can see if you just look here all these wooden beams so they say that a lot of these places were built for temporary sort of measure but i've kind of noticing this is a, an unusual film made basically because this is like st louis so it's 1906 it's been colorized but it catches all the people in movement it's almost like they're using time lapse photography which i find interesting so it's all electrified every one of these expositions is electrified they look beautiful but one thing you're getting with all the expositions in america is this and not only in america is you see your infant incubators with living infants why are all of the expositions exhibiting living human beings that they've grown quickly in incubators so there's a mystery in itself isn't it and we got one of the biggest most amazing most beautiful aesthetically pleasing electrified through antiquitex cities everywhere in the world and the evidence there is evidence for the building of um i guess in some i've seen of luna park in new york i've seen some building pictures of st louis as well but again it's mainly when the infrastructure's there and then you see them putting wood roofs on and all of that could be something there to cover up the origin of these strange cities and this strange architecture fully electrified 1906 fully electrified look at the glow off of that it's beautiful isn't it so um the buildings now they scream older worlds they really really do they use a lot of phoenician statues you can see here and all of phoenician iconography and the twin pillars the masonic twin pillars but you know there's a castle there isn't there Okay, Washington University administrative building. Everyone all covered up in their long, miserable gowns in black and white world. But you get all this look. Okay, Louisiana Purchase Exposition. Look at the size of that. So is this just all plaster of Paris? That much effort, creation, <laughs> gone into building statues of such scale, only to be there for a year. And smashed up and burnt down. This is a crowd on opening day. And look at the size of this Phoenician column, guys. The, the effort on it. Do you notice anything there? The ever present fascist eagle wings open. 
active charge. Just letting you know how this place is reset. Sunken gardens, a big thing in antiquity, but look at that world, guys. Blows my mind to think that there was just, you know, there for a temporary measure everywhere in the world and then they move on. It's all sort of dripping down there or something. You know, did they have like endless funds to do this everywhere in the world? Who pays for all of these world expositions and, you know, world's fairs and great expositions? And they repeat the same returnders and the same, I don't know, some peter square like affair you know with these uh with these circular you know enclosures look at that one looks like penn street station or something i've got the bank thing on the corner with the columns really does scream old world palace of manufacturing it even looks like the old bank of england but you know just a city this is crazy to think guys so uh Louisiana Monument, beautiful. Look at it. This is a fascist in itself. There it is there. Not too many people in that picture. Palace of Electricity. I'm guessing that this building generated all of its own electricity. Look at all these. I bet you there's ceramic on there as well. Like you get on electric pylons in the modern day. They look exactly the same, don't they? You know, when you see them on the wires, electrical uh, pylons, identical. So, yeah, I think that's what's going on there. Oh, excuse me, wrong way. And look at the size of that, okay? Um, the Belgian pavilion is just really weird looking. It's got some old antiquity on it, but it looks a much older building. What the hell was that? Really peculiar thing. And look at that for beauty and excellence. Again, re repeated return to this. You can see anywhere in any of the expositions. And all this crazy uh, Phoenician statues. We've pulled up, you know, a lot of these expositions. Uh, John Levy did it with the San Francisco one, and he established that some of the plant life would have taken years to grow there. When these buildings supposed to be up and running, you know, not long. So what's the time there? Nearly 10 to 4. It's a giant clock there, isn't it? Clock, I said. Look at this. Wow, that looks old. And again, with the crazy Phoenician statues, we go through them, smack the heads off them all. Why? Because, cause, why not? Fuck it. Look at that, inside in. Right, it broke the statues. Aww. Oh. Pedo's not happy. Touch it. It's people was on about forgiveness the other day on a show I was watching. It's like, uh, to forgive everyone, give them a hug and all that. No, I ain't in that camp, guys. You know, some people you just cannot forgive. Yeah, but you give, um, like, Jimmy Savile a good old hug. Gee, well done, Jimmy. Nice one, Sh you know, shagging dead people. No, you wouldn't, would you? So I think there is a limit and a line to, like, um, you know, forgiveness. There's a lot of people I just rather smack than forgive. And feel really, really good about it too, guys. Does that make me bad? No, that doesn't. Because I feel good about it. It must be good. <laughs> And the person who's getting it, it's had it coming, guys. Okay, look at that, how pretty, all electric lights on it. And what is that? You see that square thing there, guys? Difficult to determine what that is. It's a miracle. That's what it is. That's pretty, though, isn't it, guys? Imagine that all lit up. But again, it's a castle. It's in America. Festival Hall. Wow. So you can um, watch a bit of the exposition. There's a movie, uh, probably go on YouTube, uh, Take Me to St. Louis. I think it's with Cloud. Ooh. Fucking hell. I know his real name, Archibald Lang. Uh, the guy out of North by Northwest. Anyway, he was in it. Um, and it's a cracking little thing. I think Doris Day was in it as well. Yeah, Doris Day's in it. Good old lovely Doris Day. Good old flouncy, goofy Doris Day. Look at this, the old ladder lean. Somebody's gone up that ladder. Shit. Look at the size of him. Whoa, it's that big. And then up that ladder to there. And look at the size of the statues. My God. And there's another ladder up there. Wow, guys. The size of that compared to that man. 
That lad is lethal. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's a nice return to uh, Juicy Bob, but it's the same one. It's repeated. Look at the, you know, the over, you know, kill on the statues and the Phoenician theme with the water, them arriving. The whole thing is always a celebration of them, isn't it? And their, their victory. Look at it. So, yeah, whether or not it was built in when they say it was built i think that there is some evidence of photographs of some of this being built but i think that the mystery is too great i think that there's something big time suspicious going on with these almost as if they were there already this is what the world looked like all of them have been mostly destroyed you get little bits the ash returns are in san francisco little bits left in the in the world still but why in the name of lord would you get rid of all that beautiful architecture when today's architecture looks like a shit took a shit on it? It's the ugliest thing in the world, isn't it? Okay, so was there a schism in um, at 1902? So I looked into expositions. A ton have got like cancelled for some reason, but there were expositions in uh, 1902, um, the time of what is suspected. Uh, Jason, I think there is. I was thinking myself. There's some sort of schism. Something happened then. Uh, because lots of things just get invented in 1903. So Hanoi, Hanoi, okay, friends in China, they had a, an exposition. Uh, what is the purpose of a world's exposition? The world's exposition, also known as Universal Exposition or the Expo, is a large international exhibit designed to showcase the achievement of nations. All right, is that what it's all about? Okay, how many worlds? expositions have there been 19th century 100 world's fairs and they've been going since the 1700 and they're supposed to be one this year in la so who else had one cork in ireland what had one and wolverhampton near birmingham in england had a, an industrial hall so they had smaller ones as well Okay, let's have a little look at some of the images, maybe see what they can show us before we move on. I find it really interesting that there's a limited amount of these expositions. 1902, there it is. So it was built the year before. Wow, look at that one. Well, I've never seen that before. Well, I'll keep this window open so I can search here a little bit later. Look at that. Never seen that one before either. They look completely different to the other exposition. South Carolina, in the state. Oh, let's have a look at these. It's Cork. So Ireland had a big exposition. And so there were some going down, but I noticed they had a lot cancelled for that year. Whoa, look at that. 1902, Torino. What's that? Uh, Turin. Turin had one. Well, they're freaky, them circle things. Looks like energy gathering stuff anyway. So, yeah, and Tech is also all over TikTok. There's uh, a lot of uh, young TikTokers that got that TikTok thing going on, talking about Antiquitech and shit. Yeah, like they thought it all up. Uh, or balloons as well, you know. Uh, it's, it's out there anyway. So, communications in the past how advanced were they well there's nothing new under the sun actually so when they bring stuff out now like skype you go wow what a fantastic technology yo i can talk to somebody far away well they were doing it in the 1930s before the second world war the german empire's postal service was doing messages from this place here to other cities there it is inside real time television skype real time with speakers, real time, 1930s, even before 1920s. There's the technology right there, television. And it was widely used there, 1935, 1936, 1928, 1935, here, Skype. International Skype. You could do it here from Berlin to Leipzig talk to your you know your wife when you're away working in leipzig on a comfortable chair on a television set skype in the 1930s getting on for a hundred years ago and there's the technology right there so 1936 okay so i proposed this years ago that i was thinking that you know because 
I showed evidence of some lenses belonging to Napoleon. And imagine Queen Victoria sitting in a chair in their palaces, watching on the wall how battles in Tataria were fought and listening to their generals, even giving orders real time. If it's around then, and I'm going to show you in the 1920s, then why wouldn't it be around 10 years before? Nothing new under the sun. I think they had it. I think they were keeping it quiet. I think this technology is old. <laughs> so I found this many years ago. I posted it up. This is another thing that's out there. Wireless technology, mobile phones, 1920s. Here's two chicks. They wired it up to a bollard, maybe for earthing, maybe for a charge. Who even knows? But it's wireless. They use the umbrella as an aerial. And they tie a cable on you, maybe for earthing, but I think it might be for getting a charge by myself personally. So wireless mobile phones in the past skype in the past 100 years ago okay so they had communications advanced communications television in the past 100 years ago just so you know and there's another thing that i post about and this one came out on my brian maybe four or five years ago four years ago where i proposed that these were ancient bloom landing platforms for the transport of Tataria, which was the Blue Nidge. It could land you, and they put all of this caper on and ugly fight it all since with the Phoenician garbage. But <laughs> what you find is, specifically with all of these, is there's a platform at the top, and at the bottom, there's a door. And they've all got staircases in them. So the Bloom stops you. They go down the staircases, like so. And you can see them in the Victorian era doing it here down the staircases and out into the city. So they did exactly the same in the modern day or modernish day. Hundred years ago, they were putting up the Zeppelin onto skyscrapers like the Empire State Building, skyscrapers in LA, Seattle, more in the map. Everyone would climb out exactly the same as these things. Passenger platforms, guys, they were doing it. And here it is. It can circle because the wind blows it around and you'll be able to adjust the gantry for getting off as the wind required. And I guess in less breezy days, that would be moored more sufficiently. But again, just climb off. Yeah. And they were doing it. Then they were doing it in the past. Okay. And a lot of these skyscrapers, these high rises, I really do think that they were there in the old world from the evidence of 1906 San Francisco, okay? Uh, the Cardington Airship Tower and Machinery, this looks like a Tesla Tower, and it really does look like it's something technological going on with it. But again, landing platform for balloons and corkscrew staircase inside, and there they are. And they look exactly like the minarets and them. So I think that was what is going on in the old world. Even these things on dome tops, belfries, towers without bells in them, which have landing platform capability. This ancient thing, landing platform capability, not just a viewing platform, which is looking over sweet fuck all in a lot of places because these things are just put on the middle of what well, is nowhere like essentially. Nice view of the countryside, them, landing platforms, like that. For the transport of Tataria. So we had highly advanced transport way back when, okay? Even in Dickensian era and way back, whoever put them pillars up, the Romans, the Phoenicians, whatever you want to call them, they put these up. So even then, they were using these hot air balloons. They had airplanes, but they favoured these. Airplanes, they suck. They're just sailing boats in the air, okay? And I think this air was more fluid in the past because something happened. I think the sun, the fat old sun, is getting old, and I think it's about to die, is what I think. I think all of what is happening is all about the sun, everything, all of it. The electromagnetic changes, the changes in consciousness, the shift in consciousness, the all of it. Yeah, I think it's all the sun, but that's just me. So you can see there the zeppelins, kind of to see them in my mind's eye. And there's a lot of programs around now on the internet and on uh, Netflix which have taken this idea and they built a world around Tataria and steampunk technologies. Also, I've posted about in First World War, Zeppelins were causing fires 
and blowing up buildings in Calais. The Rath House was blown up by a laser beam from a balloon, which is probably what's causing all this devastation in American cities. This thing survived the Battle of Berlin, which is in the modern day. Again, looks like a big old landing platform. Nelson's Pillar in Dublin, big old landing platform. And in the centre of the cities as well, you know. And all they got is a stupid statue of who gives a fuck on top. It just doesn't make no sense. It will have been like that. There's a nice image of what a terrier would have been like. Lovely. That was obviously a bit of a wet day in Britain. But there you go. Let's move on. So this is only on for a minute or so. I'm going to leave the room. And what you see here, I showed them on my last show. But it's today, well, 2015 years ago and uh, 1902 so they built this sky train 1902 it's been built in the victorian era they're using ginormous big iron a raised electric train before the horse and cat makes it zero sense same as the transport network for trains electric before cars and horses alongside electric trams makes zero sense something else is clearly going on in my mind so i'm just going to leave two seconds just watch our second Okay, so comedy sesh is coming along, Sean. It is mind blowing to think that that was the world back then, guys. You know, they built that in the Victorian era, for fuck's sake. And there exist, you know, there's examples everywhere in Asia, India. This looks like the top bit looks like a spark plug. But again, this one here, all over India, they don't tell you what they are. I've looked into them for years. They're made of iron and they're dotted around all over India. They say they're ancient. Let's move on and there's uh you know we've been talking about this for years the san francisco before and after pictures you know two days you here it is all lovely two days later zapped and i really do think it was a airplane that did it okay let's move on so that's uh transport and communications and somebody sent me i don't know if they wanted me to say their name but in emails this week i haven't had time to go through all these the ones i have though it's like flipping out this is brilliant so um these are modern electrics magazines from 1912 some of them are 19 uh eight earlier and it's all electrical stuff check this guy in some sort of spaceship <laughs> but guys it's all like crazy energy free stuff in you as well what you know wireless coils 19 you know 15 this is mad underwood typewriter all right that's not so extraordinary but it is that it's an electric typewriter <laughs> so i've downloaded one or two images of what i captured in here and show them but yeah so i'm going to try and link these up i'm not sure if i can i had them linked to me i should be able to link them to you maybe one or two of you could go through see what you find i'm gonna look through this week looks like we look a bit of electronics going on there novel wireless set Oh, interesting for transmitting. So they, oh, wow, this is really, really good, actually. So I need to flip through these. Let me just show you some images that, you know, the sort of thing you get in these, you know, from early time is these. Advanced technology, you know, nothing new under the sun, as I keep saying. But electro tank shoots lightning rays, just like I showed you with them lasers. So proposed, they got a Tesla tower there and it's shooting off lasers or lightning at an enemy so electro tank which i've shown before anyway a different version of that but that would have been fantastic but you know during the first world war dynamos dynamos are fantastic this one is running on water now what they found here is mind-blowing <laughs> so they were generating electricity using tap water in the 1800 guys enough to run a sewing machine i should you not they were literally connecting up this device like some sort of dynamo to taps and they create a charge don't they taps this is why they're all earthed 
okay the running water in the copper pipes creates a charge you get an electric shock off a tap i have many many times this device turns tap water into usable electricity to run a sewing machine We're going backwards, guys. Why haven't we got that? Why aren't we running our computers on tap water? Running water. It's mind-blowing. And dynamos. These are fantastic. These are free energy. Hydroelectric water. It runs on water. It tops up on water, guys. A dynamo. A running motor. 100 years ago. It's a bit annoying to think how fucking stupid they are now okay hydro massage so okay she's using water to massage her face i haven't got that <clears throat> so the, the guy who sent me the email said there's a computer game around now i haven't been i don't what well, i i'm a, I'm a 56 year old i don't really bother with games but he said you need to see it. it's called the order and all of it is tataria they use the airships he's just the guy said it's just like watching your channel you see these steampunk cats, all of the mud? And these all steampunk antiquitech world in this computer game called The Order. Steam fans. Fans are run on moving water. So just putting the hose pipe onto it and your fan's going to spin. No electricity required. Runs moving water. And there it is. This is film The Order. They excuse me, game, like this, all Tatarian air balloons and, and unbelievable architecture. And look, it always seems cloudy and miserable in these. There's a few programs nowadays that got, um, what was that other one? Oh, bloody hell. There was another one I was watching. There was a bit of Tataria going on. But look at that, guys. The air balloons, the London, the free energy shooting across the lampposts. Boy, oh boy. Whoever's been writing this game has been watching Flat Earth British, I reckon. Wouldn't you say? Because all of that, I should have used that for a thumbnail, but except it's a computer game. But that is fantastic, isn't it? Um, and yeah, you know, I'll try and connect some of these. One's 1909, guys. Look at this on the cover. It's just mind blowing to think, right? Uh, construction and efficiency of storage batteries. Wow. Okay um recent developments in aerophony right now phony is an interesting word because anything to do with the phone is them isn't it phoenicians you know I i'm wondering whether you should just dump the english language altogether or even thinking in their language because we're casting spells construction of a static machine static machine guys is free energy device it collects static out of the ether antennas Automatic ringing battery phone and ultraviolet lights. 1909. Queen Victoria has only been dead a few years. This is just out of the Victorian era and they have wireless headphones. I wonder what they sound like. Wireless telephone handbook. Operators wireless telegraph and phone handbook. Oh, well, that's just a handbook. Okay. But they're showing you they're using wireless in 1906. It's just mind blowing. This book, so a lot to be discovered. Like I said, I'll link it. Let's see if you can go through them with me. Ugh, globe dry battery. Ugh, what an unfortunate name. What does that one do? Wireless operators, there, wireless goods, everything is wireless back then. 1906. This advance it blows my head off. And all of this free energy, weightlifting magnets. Oh, fucking hell. This is along the lines of Hutchison effect, isn't it? To be able to lift that using a magnet. <gasps> this is along the lines of Hutchison effect. There's a guy I'd like to talk to. Is he wearing any of that shit really went down? Why can they redo the experiments? Where is he since? Hutchinson, if you're watching, my old cocker. Get in contact. I wonder, you could be watching. You are British. So I'll link them up later. They're a mind blow. Tuba lamp. Look, electricity lamp. Just mind blowing stuff. All way over 100 years ago. So, are you sure we're really advanced now? Hmm? Nothing new under the sun, guys. 
They just keep repeating this shit, rolling it out over and over again. Keep doing it. Anyway. Okay, I think I'll come back for a minute. 719. Okay. Oh, that's not bad for a flatter day night, I'm happy with that case. And I'm going to come back. Give you a few shouts. Now, we got some comedy coming up very shortly. Now, them Assyrian remains you see there are mind-blowing because, oh, nearly 800 people. That's fantastic. And also live on the Celtic Tatarian channel. So thank you, guys. Sal Moxie is in the house. What's happening, my bro? We love you, Sal. Good to see you, man. Kane J. Bonnie's in the house. Claire's in the house. Enrique, as I said before. Donna Hughes is in the house. Mind-blowing it is. Mind-blowing. Dig in later. You know, it's... Yeah, so let's have a little little giggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a little giggle, shall Yeah, what do you mean? So, Josh and Gregory and Dave Knuckles, who's sharing uh, thumb drives, 47,000 juicy images, or 7, 000, uh, 44 pounds, 7,150 old books, uh, half mine, half Jason Bashir's his books, and you can get them, and that is pinned there, and you can see that down in the description box of this video as well. Uh, Brian Evans, much love to Brian Bachin, who's a Welshman like myself. Okay. Okay. I wonder if there's many one well on YouTube, the Welsh ones in the world. Silence. Silence. Good to see you. Liddy. Probably all them TikTok a lot as well, isn't it? Fucking, fucking nightmare all that. Please, anyone, do not t send me TikTok clips. I don't fucking watch any of them. I don't watch any of them. I'm not going to. Uh, don't shout me out, Martin. <laughs> All right, then. I will. King Shin. <laughs> Prove it. You can't. Michael, good to see you. Ian. Simon. Okay, let's get into some more juice. We're going to look at these. Then it's going to be some giggles, Okay. Um, it won't be that route. Yeah, it might be. And um, it's all in the best possible taste. We've all got um, things on me. No, I not tits, bums and willies. I've got, if you're mad. So. And women, got they got tits. <laughs> so we'll be looking at that later. Crumpus, Georgia. Steve Watson, where you been? Okay, nice one. Cindy. Oh, it's good you're all here. It's great being alive, if we are, isn't it? Jack, of all trades, master of none. Good to see you. Joe Shields is in the house. Okay, we're getting on. Nancy's in the house. Okay, I feel woo excited. Okay. Okay, we got more good, more really good juicage to come. Only 300 thumbs up, says Joe. Yeah, click that, click that thing. Give me that, give me that, give me, give me, give me that. Give me that thing, give me that thing, give me that. Give me, give me, give me that thing. Thumbs up. You happy? Good. That's what it's all about. It's flat day. It's time to celebrate existence, being here. Yeah. Like I said, guys, you know, with the awakening, it's like we'll always be epic because we're doing truth and stuff. They'll always be wankers because they're wankers. I know. Celebrate that fact, guys. It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Syria. So this is um, in Iraq and Iran, and it was uh, Asian Syrian. So we get a bit of like Gilgamesh going down. And um, I find this really, really cool. The whole world looks to be completely wiped out in a lot of these places. Look at that dome. I wonder if that was covered in gold in the past. But what you see is these buildings, they're laying empty. There's a lot of rubble up against them. Um, this one, seemingly in scaffold. There's a lot of stuff going down. That gives you a lot of the old world. That one, if you can see, it's all mud outside. The front door is down there. The front door is down there. The mud is all up here. The front door is down there. Why? And look, something's happened. All of, all of the dome tiles are all splatter it. Nice decoration on whatever this chimney was for. Uh, I don't know. They always have chimneys attached to churches as well. I wonder if they were crematoriums some stage so here's gilgi and he's uh he's looking at us kicking his lion's head in or this dragon's head in by banging him on the head with a bag of sweets take that <laughs> that's the noise it made so yeah that's the ancient world but again i would go as far as to say this was ancient machinery because 
if you can see the two lines here they're completely parallel and they're running perfectly straight i don't know what sort of technology they were using with copper chisel and straight lines for that and the chiseling of the statue of the relief itself but you know this is supposed to be gilgamesh we're talking about you know bronze age even before here so it's just crazy asian this out in the middle of nowhere a load of big stones looks like that this is the walls to another building and this one's been put inside you see this a lot again all of it smashed when was it built <laughs> when was the other thing built and these showing water damage all right it's in good condition the top bit the bricks are beautiful condition the bot bit is either the school of thought entropy just hits the bottom and not the top hmm, that makes no sense and um, i would say flood water bashing away at this for a long time till it receded taking the bottom away and you got some interesting reliefs up on the top i'd love to see the further what they as a cross there maybe something missing off the top of that but why are they they're going in somewhere i was i would be suspect to think that they will go underground they look nuclear not nuclear but they look bunkery because of this this shape gives you um protection beaver dam technology what you get on pyramids again one of these crazy towers don't know what they're doing stone stonework with these round towers in the midst of something that literally looks like it's been torched and melted all world and some more so this is attributed to the assyrians i guess see a lot of similarities with this Assyri no later looks medieval uh, the assyrians the mesopotamians and even the egyptians i see some sort of crossovers between them all really so uh twiggy old trees not big ones at all twiggy old twiggy new ones look like they've just been put in in this featureless double domed thing um the brick the brickwork is quite mind-blowing what for what would that dome thing do shapes bouncing shapes around but it's making charges and look at this everything is completely fucking melted this wall the cobble all ruined below this ruined place all of it is ruined and it's massive and it's really unusual again golden dome ball of anomalous material on top bit of old masonry from the old world boom again all worn at the bottom like flood damage all of it is flood damaged underneath this actually new trees dirty messed up armageddon no windows nothing just gutted and the door is down below ground level again crazy in it guys look at that no it's like no one's been there this massive world covered in mud all melted older world this one put on top of it by the look of it and these explorers are going out and they're setting up a tent because they can't stay in any of them because they're all ruined just mind-blowing scale uh whatever that would be so i'm not saying that these mosques are assyrian but i'm saying that you know they're really old beautifully ornate and something terrible has happened look antiquitech again looks like what you get on one day pylons Hmm. Interesting. So they got some beautiful manors in the 1800s with water features going up to them. They're not doing too bad in that part of the world. They don't really show you in, you know, these Iraq around war films, all of this stuff, do they? They show you them in like in, in Afghanistan, they show you them in Cabal and shit. When really, if you go further enough, they got some of the best cities, beautiful cities in the world. And this sort of architecture going on. It's beautiful, beautiful Arabic uh, architecture. Massive trees there, though. It looks like silver birch, which is more expected in a, in, a, in a sort of temperate zone. Beautiful. It looks slightly oriental, but the water features going right up to the noble structured water. And there you are, the epics of Gilgamesh. 
fighting over that ring whatever that ring is it's important give me that ring give me that give me that give me that ring give me that give me give me give me that ring no it's mine i'll fuck you up with my fashies i've got trident here sire here's your trident where's the button i can't find the button there isn't a button sire use it by psychic abilities oh i have some is that a tree growing out of it no it's just in front of it okay so that looks completely melted now i would definitely say that that was a building not rather than mining spoil do you see the, the difference because it looks like it's a big old building and stuff sticking out everywhere mound but there could be people still in there thinking it was still armageddon gone deeper underground troglodyte race Bit like that Japanese guy on the Pacific Island in the 1960s thinks the war's still on. Bit like that. What at the war's over? I'm not, not obviously not in that accent. What? What over? You sure about that? Yeah, man. Did we win? No, man. He, Hirohito got his ass kicked. No, we fucking never. We won. We won. Banzai! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, they're nuts. This is what happens in war. Everyone goes fucking nuts. They say stupid shit like... Bonsai! Or Hazard! Or Charge! And then they all go and fucking... See, I, I don't think it's a good idea. I think all war should be scrapped. I don't think it's a good idea at all. Because basically, people go and kill one another. I don't mean that's not... I, I'm not getting down with that. That's not good. Look at this. So what we found in the Iran... Iraq, uh, in the Iran war... Um, the Iraq war. The Iran war hasn't happened yet. The Iran, Iraq war was all of... Um, the supposed Arab fucking terrorists, whatever they are, I don't know. They changed their name from ISIS. They went to this, went to that. I don't fucking know. The Mujahideen, whoever. They smashed the shit out of these. They didn't want them there. They're like fucking evil gods, evil Phoenicians. Let's beat them up. Look, all empty. Scorched even, maybe. Nothing going on. Mud flood looking. And this. Look at that for a building. It looks all mud flooded in. Wow, that's nice. But again, it's all brickwork. It's like Roman. That one's been blocked in the central one. And the door has by the look of it. And a lion and a column and a bit of leftover. Look at this megalithic stone. So that's it. That's really far back. That's the Syrian. And this is my major, major amazing gold dome. Oh, wow. Look at that and that creating its own charge all our ceramic tile ceramics used in electricity they're used in spark plugs and they covered them outside circuitry all over the air outside that building that's what it's for conduit in <gasps> look at the size of that and again with the massive chimneys what they're for okay the epic of gilgamesh let's have a look okay okay they got a ho they got them hoops again it's got mine I wonder what they do Electromagnetic, I reckon. That one's practically buried. Interesting hairdos. And there's that tower again, a different version of it. Crumbled at the bottom from flood water. And look at that. You had reason to take that picture of this mesa. Can you see that? There's like lines there that look just like brickwork. There's something else there as well. I can't tell what. But I really do feel that that entire thing there was some sort of building the epic of gilgamesh some terrible apocalypse noah's flood and it's gilgamesh so it was hot back then they had umbrellas but they could have been using them for aerials for their mobile phones because they did in the 1920s just saying so out in the middle of nowhere you've got four amazing columns belonging to a world that's completely vanished five columns and the builds in the stood before it looks nothing like the classical stuff but some similarities really with the columns but just where is that world gone it is amazingly big and it's just disappeared again with the chimneys and the towers melted buildings and this is how they live in the town mud walls and mud buildings not like these great things look at the size of that <gasps> ruined again everything is ruined mud flooded in coming all the way up there 
What are these? What are they? Well, I've seen better days, haven't I? That is completely knackered. And that is the gate into Shitsville. Because it wasn't in the past. It looked like it was amazing. All tiled and full of colour and vibrant and flowers and smells. And now you get all this. Yeah. One day poverty and squalor. So there's the old world again. Super futuristic building technologies. Again, two parallel cutting lines. Again, perfectly perpendicular, perfectly coined edges there as well, showing you advanced machinery. That one there, that's been cut. Can you see that? Cut. Cut. Advanced machinery, even back in the days of Gilgamesh. Amazing. Amazing. So more bash reliefs. That's an unusual pillar there. Look at that one, I call him. Some deities there in statue form. And look at that for advanced technology. This whole thing looks like it was a tech. Look at the size of that stone on top. Wow. Somebody's fuzzing his hair up or something. And the chair even looks like tech. And these bits here. Uh, whatever's happened, it's just terrible. Look at the size of these and these lines here. Machining some sort of advanced drill. There's no way they're doing that in the past with chisels. That is amazing. Just mind blowing. Some of the best evidence for advanced technology, that is. Because he's big, he's big, isn't he, compared to his uh, Chawalas, his, his umbrella holders or Gilg. And you can see there's buildings inside the cliffs. There's a better image further up. So. Chilling out, done by the water. Got the twirling dervishes coming in later to make you gizzy, giddy. They're pretty fun, though. See the old twirling dervishes? They're on a spiritual vibration. They're getting into a trance state, spinning around. Dancing does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. Dancing. And here they are, the twirling dervishes. they got some cool hats on because they've got big Brian's. And they're spiritually advanced. And they're going to twirl around, go into a trance state. Yeah, and have a funky time to an dervishes. Yeah, awesome. That's what we want. More of that. This is one of the, this is a, I've seen this before. This is the biggest cemetery in the world. It's in Iraq, and it is a million dead bodies. And even in the Victorian era, it had a lot of bodies. What happened? Well, they all died. So again, fuck that world. Really messed up. And these beautiful towers which look like they got flood prevention look at that Whew. seen better days that builds in this forces to take a something of that size out it's just unimaginable out in the middle of nowhere these reliefs in stone of the epics of Gilgamesh. okay this guy's lit up he's found the sound and the vibration he's lit himself up Stared in a jad himself. Oh, you've put something all like a bit material around my around my ring again. And said I didn't like that the last time. It makes you look pretty, and I'm a god. You can see I got my hands on my side like I'm a little teapot. Oh, one of them is it? I'm a god. I'm royal. Oh, that looks like a jester. They're um jousting. He's got nunchucks. He's got nunchucks. John Wick of the day. Okay, let's have a look. They got two hump camels. Okay. So these people were way, way back and way off reset. I wonder what that is, if it is a tree. Why they stick them trees in there. I've seen them on other images. They look like they're having giant light bulbs. So there is the missing world. Completely vanished in some terrible apocalyptic events. And the evidence of advanced machinery. Okay. <clears throat> I can only guess that's cuneiform. I'd love to know what it says. I'm guessing Zachariah Sitchin will tell us a bag of shit, like he usually does about every fucking thing. Um, mind you, I shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Um, but, yeah, the little fucker lied a lot. Um, apparently, there was other versions of uh, 
cuneiform out there and uh, they didn't correspond with him you know we're all gonna get fucked up by the anarchy so um yeah interesting language cuneiform it's just little dentations one going one way one going the other with no baseline to even know what they say just making it all up i don't buy it anyway they you know they they like the with the egyptology yeah that's welsh yeah, but they come along and they say, oh, no, 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 we got the Rosetta Stone. It's got all the translations on there. It's just conveniently got found when Napoleon sent his soldier, soldier, soldier out to go and find one. So I can, that was convenient. Yeah, it's got Aramaic on it. It's got Greek on it. We're going to know exactly what it says. So this place looks like it's missing. Some of it coming out this way, if that makes sense. Um, but it looks to go into the side of a giant cliff. Is there a building in it? It's all been fused by heat. And here's Yepica Girl. We've actually got sea peoples in this as well. A giant in a boat. So it's about the sea peoples. Lots of boats going on, which is weird because I'm guessing you're really far inland here. But they got boats on the Euphrates and the Tigris. So not much left of that world. Hmm. Okay, you ready? Okay, brace yourselves in your chairs, guys. You may have a little giggle, okay? It's not going to be offensive. It's going to be fun. Okay, nobody died in the making of this presentation. No animals were hurt in the making of this presentation. Okay, so we're going to have a look at some funny books and some funny things that I found. This was an interesting book. Have you seen this? Puppetry for the Penis, the ancient Australian art of genital origami. I was thinking of having a go myself um so yeah genital origami yeah 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 go with that puppetry of the penis yeah put some strings on make it dance okay look you can see it by hugh g rection <laughs> oh yeah do your bastard hope you're not laughing what's wrong that is death it's like a happy balloon. It is. It is. Death's like a happy balloon. Let's celebrate. Death. Yeah. Oh, I'm horny. Death is horny. Yeah. Let's get it on. Death is a happy balloon. Okay, that's better. Shitting Your Own Shadow by Simon Stewart. Oh, the sweet stench of creation. Yeah, that's how creation happened. God, just shit it out. Now you know. That's a continent. Are you learning anything here today? Good. Penguin book of not giving in to willpower. Good advice. Fuck that. Okay. Oh, I got kicked off the beach for shitting in the ocean. That lifeguard is a total dickweed. What, you dirty cow? Shit in the bath too. Don't want to shit in the bath. What, don't you shit in the bath? No, don't shit in the bath. Fucking weird though. You're banned, crazy bastard. Go, go. Mm -hmm. Everyone shits in the sea. I've never shit in the sea. Floats away. I don't give a fuck. Somebody can be swimming behind you with their mouth open. You thought of that, love? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Blonde. But. Ooh. Prolapsed anus. It hurts to sit. Ah. Oh, what are they singing? Glory, holy, you. <laughs> glory, glory, holy, yeah. <laughs> what? It's Sesame Street. It's good. It's all good. Okay. Now, this isn't funny, but it's something to do with the Phoenicians. The guide to Venetian masks. So, <clears throat> this is what they wear. The, Col the Columbia, the Volta, the Bravata. So, anyone walks up to you, one of them, you know you know what they're up to. Okay? Look at the Droogie mask, 17th century. Looks like more and the Moretta. So, we're on to you. Okay, we see you with any of them. You're in fucking shit streets. Just saying. Particular word on Venice. Pounding the shit out of your mum's box. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, we are not men, we are Devo. Break your mum's back. <laughs> Probably Devo. Oh, don't worry. You'd have to watch a video. This is brilliant. I want to get this book. Anal candling for health and pleasure. A light at the end of your tunnel by... Omethra Hickey. I'm not sure how it works, but it looks like it's got a candle in a bum. And wouldn't the wax burn? Don't know. Anyway, anal candling. 
beginners. The Joy of Cock by Amphetamine. <laughs> Amphetamine, that's fucking brilliant. Well, that's a real book, guys. It's got bad minds. It's about food. Cock. Yeah, see? Oh, this is brilliant. This is in Texas, I reckon. I'm going to find it. Anyway. So, the Hidden Valley Ranch of the Studs Mystery. Look, they've got a Tesla tower on uh, on the card now. Stop, she's going, the little green fat fairy. This one's taken mirrors, see? Come on, we see if I've got anything crawling. And the stud, don't know what's happened to him. It looks like he's tattered. It's like he ain't got a swimming pool there. This is interesting. Oh, forgive my interruption, sir, sir, but that's my wife you have there. She likes a bit of tongue first. <laughs> Just a thought. It'd be helpful, you know. He says you like a bit of tongue first. Yes, that's true. Yum yum. Okay, cooking with poo in China. Apart from them cooking piss eggs, which they do, they boil them in piss, and everyone eats them. Yum yum yum. They're cooking poo too. My local Chinese restaurant, yeah, is called Manpoo, but their food is really lovely. So that's really just unfortunate. So why don't do TikTok? They cook it poo. What's your poo telling you? Well, you can do that. But apparently, forsooth, what saith sayer? Um, how is your stool today, sire? Um, I don't know. It's in. I put it in a Tupperware box for you to look at. What is Tupperware, sire? It's from the future. It's a plastic. But that's not important right now. The poo inside is. What did it say, sire? It said, you've got to start eating some decent food, boss. Because obviously I boss. Is that what it said? It said, yeah, I want a chicken tikka Joe Frazee. Hurry up already, is what my poo said. Okay. These are interesting. They're a bit naughty. So this is from the Victorian era. You know, they got like, you know, what the butler saw. They also did like rude pop-up books. I can't get the whole book. Well, I want it. Yeah. Get me a book. I know. There was a fan language as well, where you just wave the fan like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm up for it. Or, no, I'm I'm married and not really up for it. Fan thing. He's like, oh, elementary, I'm looking for a clue. Oh, there they are. Oh, I'm not sure what's happening there. <laughs> Fun in the pack. Bum in the pack. Uh, right, let's move on. Okay. Da, 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 da. So apparently they're called the naughty nineties, these pop-up books from the Victorian era. 1890s. So I heard the Can Can girls wore um crutchless underwear. Is that true? Can't go back to them on a rouge. I would want to anyway. Is that creepy little Toulouse of Trek going around? Sniffing. So there they are, 1928. How do you keep yourself in there? It's a bit like multi-pass, Lelu, isn't it? You know, she never pops out of a bandage once in the film. Um Fifth element, does she, Leilu? Multi pass. She doesn't pop out once, which is a miracle because we're all waiting for that moment, aren't we? Well, I am. Um, same here. That 1920s dancing is rad, I think. Da, 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 da. Yeah, but they're all on drugs, mostly cooking. So, Incurable Romantic Seeks Filthy Dirty Hole by Helen Miller. Ah, life is so sweet. Ritual. And decorative arson. There you are. Burn your old school down. It makes everybody happy. <laughs> I only had four schools, but they're all gone. They all burnt up. So, cooking for sinners. Oh, if I could get rid of the sinner in me, how life would be so sweet. Not. Life would be shit. Sin, man. 30 dishes that will make you confess. Four. Okay. Buggery in ancient Rome. Apparently, it was a thing. And stuff like that. So these are the Phoenicians. They're in charge now. Yeah. If you're gonna go out, wear a cork. The Phoenicians are in charge. So I got the book of this. This is um Thomas uh, Battolini's Autonomy. And this guy, he's been peeled, he's got a skin suit. Maybe that's what they're doing. Peeling off this. They are literally not from this world and they're wearing our skin. Okay. This guy. He's exercising some spirits. He's been a bad man. man. They, they've hung him. And he's had a, he's got a little man living inside him who's giving him bad advice. I think he's going to die because of the intestines. But, yeah, he's been pulled out by a little demon. That's not funny. That's just something. Something didn't feel right at that Texas prison beauty shop. 
<laughs> Anybody want to buy some dead skulls? A dead skulls? You're all right, love. Where did you get them from? Oh, they're hanging around everywhere. Everybody's dead. Yeah, notice. Your heart wish top. Half a daily, a little dodgy maybe, but underneath, he's all right. But I wouldn't buy anything off half a daily. Not really. Oh, I might do. Probably don't know if he is. If you're in America, yeah, that's half a daily. He's a little dodgy maybe. Look at that trustworthy face. Yeah, you want to buy a car? It's got five hundred thousand miles on the clock. Okay. And what we're going to look into here is Victorian magic tricks, and they tell you. We can work out in a lot of cases how this shit goes down. So, 1800s, and they're big into spiritual spirituality. Spiritualist churches are very, very big. And magic tricks, the prestige, people disappearing. They would invest their entire lives into the magic trick. And this guy, the skirt dance. And usually, they would use limelight at this period, but they are using some unbelievable lights which look like they got different lights which look like they're actually projecting he that guy there literally looks like he's got a tv camera and he's filming it all like literally and this one he's got some strange light coming out of some strange contraptions here in the victorian era they're using some sort of holography Okay, so this one, she gets put in there and they're going to like, oh my God, how did she get in there? You know, she's disappeared, but really they're pulling her through the wall. Okay, the disappearance explained. I've seen them in many. Okay, so she disappears under there and she's gone through a hole in the floor. That's pretty self-explanatory. We know about them. Okay, look, I chopped his head off. Ah! Everyone says. He decapitated him. Nah, he's all right. He's in the box. Ah, uh, good one. I thought he chopped his head off. Thank you. <laughs> You're my peppermint nightmare. Okay. Subject of his own skeleton. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. And I don't think it's good advice to bury yourself either. Okay. So I'm guessing that is in water. Uh, I'm not sure. She's in the air, actually. So that's on a stage. Can't really tell you what's going on there. So, yeah, the stage set in for black art. So they have it all black in the background and there's people dressed in black and they would operate the skeleton a bit like they do in films in the modern days. So that must have been good to watch. Oh, excuse me. So he dips that down over her and she literally disappears. That must have been something good. Prepare for cremation. We're going to burn her alive. Yeah, don't get this trick wrong. She would die. It's got candles underneath her. But really, she goes down into a hidden chamber, which is hidden underneath. Okay, the escape. And the burning. And they're all like, oh my God, you burnt her alive. But not really. So isolated head in the center of the stage, some giant head. And I don't know what they're doing there. Holography again. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And they got a room, okay, illusion produced by a high, uh, by a ride in a swing. So it's some sort of room and they swing you around like that. And you're upside down. That's nuts. And that is operated by people in black suits. They're operating a skeleton. I bet that'd be fun to see though. Apparitions. <sighs> okay, what we got going on here? She's blowing through there, and she's hearing, he's hearing her up there, the invisible woman. How is that happening? It's a miracle. The mysterious ball, that looks mysterious indeed. Probably magnetic. Right, I've always wondered about sword swallowers. It's a bit weird, but they don't kill themselves, and they manage to get it down a windpipe, down the esophagus, and then not, not stab their intestines. They literally stop short. So they literally do that. It's not good advice. Don't do that at home. Sword swallowing is stupid. It should be practiced in any regard in this realm. It's not entertainment. It's scary and horrible. Don't like it. Fucking stupid. Look at the size of that. Facsimile of composite photograph. A giant head. Why would they do that on a tray? It's just a facsimile. 
And again, decapitation, just for entertainment's sake. This is the Victorians. Again, trick photography, another decapitation. Giant's head on the table, giant head in a wheelbarrow. Again, photograph, manipulation, 1800s. Been manipulating there. The reduction, it's got a mini me. It's got a homunculus him. And the sawn off head. All right. So he saws off heads. I've, I've always thought that was good. This is good. Man in a bottle. Message in a bottle. Yeah. Might be something in there. Okay, we're moving on. <coughs> so I'm going to come back. This this book I'm going to share to you, but I'm not going to go through it all because I just like to share old books with you now and again. And this one's pretty groovy because of the depictions in it. Okay, it's a colour book and it's from the 1600s. It's in Latin, unfortunately. But it shows uh, West Africa, the Canaries, the Azores, and that sort of, you know, area. But these look Chinese and pagoda, but they're not. And that is... not sure but interesting that everything has got mud you got this phoenician guy here and they got these strange deities can you see that you see them all over the antique world some of the depictions in europe are absolutely bonkers oh guys they really are i will share this with you in the descriptions box so you can go through it yourself uh, like i said it's all in latin unfortunately but it's got some terrific images as you can see of a world of 500 years ago. Okay, is that a woman? Oh, I'm guessing it is. She's not exactly black. Okay. In fact, what you find is a lot of these photographs, uh, these images, hardly anyone's black. I was wondering as well, I was thinking about it today, you know, with the whole DNA, messing with DNA in the past, they seem to have done cryptids, etc. And I was wondering if, like, Women were always a thing. It's like, it's a woe, a man, womb man, a woman. She's got a womb. You know, the Adam and Eve narrative, made Eve out of a rib of Adam, sort of singing towards some sort of DNA splicing thing going on. So see, these with the pipes, they carry all the dignitaries round in them. We've seen that in other places as well, the Far East. But it's 500 pages in here, guys, of... Uh, images maps as well really really juicy maps as you can see and this one shows the hyperborean why would they why would they show the hyperborean there the four continents and remember i um showed you in my last post um, church windows which look like a four leaf clover somebody in my comments said well that could be like the hyperborean i was like oh yeah that's really good. So we have no Great Lakes. Um, Island California is not a thing either here. It's there. Um, but yeah, got no Great Lakes. Probably again, mining. If you mine them out and then fill them with water. We got two big lakes outside Cardiff called Cosmeston and then an old lime quarry. And now they're giant lakes. So they do that. They turn quarries into lakes. And then you've got this giant thing here that's coming all the way up to the Tropic of Capricorn for some reason. Why would it do that this thing underneath? And there's all depictions for Noah's Flood and the animals two by two in. Again, some sort of, you couldn't get them all in animal form. You could get them in test tubes, couldn't you? Yeah, so plenty of mappage, plenty of some, you know, I like old books. And I like to link old books. And that is the point of me showing you. So... Enjoy that and some old map, bitch. Oh, look at that for China. It's a great wall on there. The great wall of Rome. And what a weird uh, way that it's facing. Is that Japan? Yeah. Wow. That's weird. Um. Mountain range here through Cambodia because it's going um, east to west rather than north to south the way we usually see China in Sumatria, Sumatra, Borneo. Ooh, no. Anyway, 
I'm going to mess my head up with that. Moving on. So I'll link that the moment I finish this show. Okay. This is another thing I'm going to link up. I've been thinking about um, the change in fashions have been introduced. You know, they're socially engineered. Hence the mini skirt, Mary Quant, 1960s. Stick shorter skirts you could possibly stick on females and bring in the pill so they can have like sex and not get pregnant anymore like they were before. And the styles and the fashions, styles of the 1700s, the 1600s, the 1800s. And they seem to be similar, like all national dress is the same everywhere in the world. The Welsh looks like somewhere in Slovenia. Oh, what's that ring again? Oh, it's two. And he's got a mirror. Oh, it's a mermaid. It's a mermaid because they're proper common at this period. So I'll link this, you can examine it yourself. It is a really good little bookage of some of the he got spectacles on, the guy with the bats. And there, Hermes in the background, uh, Mercury. And you've got um, Samson, some biblical characters. Big Bird, who's drawn a nice picture. Cool. So what else we got here? Pennies from Heaven. So these are playing cards, obviously. You see the clubs there. They have groovy pictures on them instead. So... Even the playing cards are more fun back then, guys, aren't they? Huh. Okay. Oh, that's no way to treat the cat. Three ladies on a on a swing. And oh, five a time. Doing a bit of a barbecue. With a solar powered heater, which he's having some success with. Okay, which is good. And another book I'm going to link up, I covered it a little time ago, but it's from 1902, interesting year that, isn't it? Again, a schism year, but this is Waters Above the Firmament, it's a flat earth book. Um, and it is telling you of annual theory. So it's the deluge and its cause, 1874 and first edition, Earth's annual system. It tells you about the cyclical reset nature and it says that there's waters above and it explains that's how it's flooded. It's come through the windows. Lucifer, the light bearer, what is that? The fall of Lucifer is in, vo is in volume four um, of the annual of theory. Um, and it's a philosophical final solution of the problem of Eden. It's a deluding serpent and the tree of life and death. It proves beyond a doubt that Lucifer the light bearer and Afghama demon, whatever that is, the good demon. We're one of the same defined spirit of the shining vapors that possess the skies of primeval man, vapor canopy. That the great red dragon, the phoenix, which also fell from the skies and the leviathan slain in primordial waters with the same flood vomiting spirit that held the destiny, destiny of man as Jupiter's canopy of clouds holds the fate of forms in the planet one day. Oh my God, they're talking about vapor canopy. I should link this book over to, to Jason. Man, oh man, he loved this. Shit. So it says um, he's a good demon. Supposed to be God's most beautiful one and favorite. And it brings the light. It doesn't say Lucifer brings the darkness, does it? I think the fucking Vatican do that. Bunch of fucking fiddlers. That's a good book. I'm going to link that up in the descriptions below. I'm coming back for a second. Give you a few shouts. We've got images of the day to come. Are we having fun yet? 680 new, 700 of you. Woohoo! We're in business today. We're having fun. Oh, 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 oh. Martin with his epic not giving fuckness, having a brilliant time, enjoying life, coming to America. So, um, Dave, Dave, where's Dave Knuckles? Dave Knuckles is in Arizona. I'm going to be flying through Arizona, not flying through, driving through. They get a chance. See you, my bro, after all these years. Jolly man, we love you, Jolly man. And there's my Cheryl. Yay, fun fact day, you enjoying yourself. You Lucifer, and etymology means far light. Interesting. Thanks, Claire. 
um, you see it, you know, like luck and Lucy and, you know, lots of words have got the loose, the loose of the thing in it. Baron Saturday, good to see you. And uh, Dallas Fowler. Yay, yay, yay. Love Dallas. 7 0. Oh, oh, seven. Oh, Ocean's Eleven. There's Latrec. I was on about you earlier, Latrec. I was on about you in um, in the Mont Rouge, biting people's bottoms because you were so short because they couldn't take any notice of you. You're like, the plane, boss, the plane. Jessica Fibonacci, not you. To lose the track. Jessica? Okay. Okay. Pat's in the house. Gregory's in the house. So, do you have a little giggle? It's on the best possible taste, guys. Why take life too seriously? Why not have fun? Hmm? Yeah, no. It's awesome, isn't it? Lucy Fur. Oh, that's good. Like, I love Lucy. It's a bit of a dude that I love Lucy, wasn't she? Ooh, we know. So, Baron. Bonnie. Okay. <laughs> I watched John Morgyle made a good video on trans apocalypse the other day. He does legendary videos in between other stuff, but fuck me. They had some freaks on there, guys. It's like, whoa, well, what are they doing with society? Man, oh, man, oh, man. No, 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 no. They can stop all that already. Julia, good to see you, Baron. Okay. Set neck. Okay. And there is to buy drives. 47,000 books, Martins, um, images, thumb drive, 44 pounds, and 80 pounds for uh, 7,100 uh, books. You can get them there on PayPal if you're interested. Bob Sykes, the inner workings of Martin's mind is always super fantastic. Oh, thanks, Bob. Much love to you, my brother. Hiya. And ooh, he's like the John Wicks of truth, is Bob. Baron. Okay, we're moving on. Now we're going to do some images of the day and the week, some memes, some things amusing. Okay. And interesting mud flood pictures and some juicy stuff. There's some good, good juice here. I've also got some images for after the show, after this bit, that I dug up of old Copenhagen, but we're looking at time here. It's... Uh, it's flying by so flat a day fernies we've done that was really good okay okay flatter than flat a day images okay let's get on so if you would uh please share this out and all of the obligatory youtube things like sharing this out liking if you did if i made you giggle i know i know you're thinking he's naughty I told you about that earlier though didn't i no, my defense okay cool Happy vibes. Love is the drug I'm thinking of. Somebody said Gibbons out was easy top was a woman to me the other day. I'm like, fuck off. And then I thought, oh yeah, every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed man. I was just wondering. I don't think ZZ Top is a, a chick though. So yeah, photography. Uh, women were really into it in the Victorian era. She looks a bit of a, got a good eye for the old photography. I love photography myself. I think it's an amazing technology. So I went in here last week. This is in Glastonbury. This is a photograph in the 1800s. This building's one of the oldest in Glastonbury. Apparently, Henry VIII sat in here watching uh, the, the abbey burnt down out of this window. Um, and it was built in the 1400s. The, the only narrative is that they have no evidence for that. And they don't know what this building was for its entire history. It's a mystery. History mystery. See the big old megalithic stones, 1400s in Glastonbury. I went there for something to eat a week ago. It was really amazing building. Really amazing. So. Just pinching some mad work before the Germans come and steal it all. No, they're moving. He's putting his mattress on. He's got um, an artwork of a naked lady there. But they've got all these artworks. I can only presume that they're skipping town. Circumstances. Take your pick for the last century. The war never stopped for 100 years. Or the television um, media war. Because you weren't there yourself. So in 1933, the remarkable excavations unfolded the gateway to King Sargon, its citadel, in Assyria. 
and the treasure trove of Assyrian history and artistry emerged, captivating scholars, and I bet they covered up a lot of shit about that. It doesn't say that. Unveiling the kingdom of grandeur. So again, in Assyria, which we just were, and this one deep in uh, mud, and it's a giant, Gilg, and, uh, and Griffin thing. Deep in the mud. So, do you know when you drive down the highway, yeah, this comes up, required anal exam. What? Go down the highway. It's a bit excessive, don't you think? What for? So, there they are in the past, smashing up the existence of anything to do with Syria or Mesopotamia or any of a uh, subcontinent, sub-Asian continent civilizations. Outside of Tatar, they seem to get smashed to hell. They were doing this in the war, in the Iraq war, and they're doing it there. Any existence is being smashed up. Weird, isn't it? Taken away. And it's all mud flooded in. So this is the old world. They don't actually do any traffic control. Okay, there's a policeman there. He's not doing traffic control. And these things, you know, where does this traffic go that way? Is it all one way? And that's in London. Everyone dressed in black. Everyone covered up. Everyone miserable as shit. Everyone say, morning. Crap, in it? Crap. You got the dirt on these old buildings. There's no motor car. What makes them so dirty? Coal. Coal heating. So this is Luna Park in New York's Coney Island. Gone now, but it was one of the best guessing sort of exposition things you'll see are fairly electrified absolutely out of this world that's the black and white for this thumbnail of this video i think it's much better in black and white very beautiful all antiquatech electricity there's no generators making this happen this is the buildings making this happen stunning look at that as well 1901 wow Another returns are identical, all electrified. 1901. The Victorian era is electrified. And they give you Tesla and all this bullshit with fucking Edison, his light bulb. And then look at all this. See the wires connecting them up? Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Imagine walking around this. It must have been just beautiful experience for your consciousness all the light and water and the vibration it must have just been beautiful there lunar park just fantastic covered it a few times it is an anomaly you know there's none of this left now it's just you know we've all seen the film the warriors warriors come out to play they go back to Coney Island, only it's shit, unfortunately. All seaside, a lot of seaside resorts are shit, unfortunately. So it's a nice little dome with a double B on it, or oh, excuse me, arch, I should say. And underground civilizations like this one. Okay. Uh, oh my God, I got a mental block. Anyway, it's in Turkey. And um, it's tens of thousands of people could stay underground. I think this is, a, you know, an Armageddon bunker, if you like, uh, when they all bugged out. There's plenty of underground civilizations. Look for beautiful. The colour. Nice greens and uh, oranges together. So it's good colour coordination. The sun comes through them, it's like, it's like a good acid. That's what it's like going in there. So this tree has been made into a chair. Kings on it. it looks really ancient. They do a uh, tree sculpture where I live in Cardiff. They're old trees. They just turn them into dragons and stuff like that. So, so the epics. You've got a giant for a boss. Everyone else is really little. 
and you got this guy who's in this wing thing here, which looks like he's flying around, a bit like you know, some sort of aerial device, UFO type affair. Can you dig it? Jessica says, Can you dig it? I know Cyrus had it right, didn't he? There ain't but 20,000 coppers in this city, and look how many of us there is. I know. Look at that on the beach. Little antiquitec house on a beach. Unfortunately, when the sea comes in, it gets flooded. See this? Ely Beans. I live in Ely, in Cardiff, where there's riots. We got our own beans. Ely Beans. They taste exactly the same as Heinz. And Heinz tastes like shit now. Heinz Beans are got new owners terrible <laughs> doesn't that look like this is to commemorate um or was the 1800s it was built at the turn of the century and this bit here looks exactly like the plinth for the uh, statue of liberty exactly like it and you see this in different places astolites and other war memorials um our soldiers up there but that was supposed to be for the wars of the 1800s the size of these it's a really big old building that look at the size of the stones in it it's just massive you know i think that was something else guys repurposed like everything is in this place you know they find it so i was going to show you a collection of art from dura dura is one of my favorite old uh, engravers and artists he He's just a mind blow. All alchemical, all resets, just mind blow. Dura, uh, check him out if you can. It's one of my favourites. It's from 1500s. There's one of his artworks there of um, some sort of religious affair. Don't know what's going on, but one thing I can show you is it's set in the Middle Ages when all of this Jesus, Mary, and Joseph stuff was going down. Apparently, I think so. Advanced technology, not much look at that and what would it be guys it looks a bit like some of the stuff you see in puma punka um you know it's just incredible machining isn't it an incredible advanced technology and this is for the asian world just unreal looks like something came out this way i keep thinking something like along the lines of beam me up scotty that sort of thing transporter this is in my city you know what they keep doing is they keep building these big fucking horrible hotels but they leave the original building there and this was the old custom house one of the old custom houses in cardiff and you know the building they've left there and they've just put a hotel they've done it all the way along this road just rub your face in it it's fucking sick i don't, really don't like that so a group of natives in central highlands of mexico captured and put into death a giant so apparently they were hunting giants in mexico yeah i know not good is it this is in wales and it's a location okay this is in welsh language fan e big this is why it's pronounced e in uh, in welsh this is fanny big so fanny big fanny big big doors so how do you open that up there then ladder genie crane what what's the point i'm the latch all the way up there unless it was a door for a giant what do you think big fanny stop okay yo you lot you're incorrigible so that is Pentridge Station, and it's gone knocked down, and they put like uh, Madison Square Gardens in its place. And it's just a massive Greco Romano build. It's anomalous. It's too good. It's too big. It shouldn't have been knocked down. It's just a crying shame. Pentridge Station, New York City, or will build it. Again, in New York City, you see the flatter on behind and this incredible Roman arch. You get a few of them in madison avenue not a pure on these these pillars look almost sonic news the dough boys for come back from the trenches march of honor i bet that's what the all the old world armies were doing is marching through these 
getting demagnetized from the electromagnetic weaponry that they charge that they used on the battlefield charge this is an interesting um, artwork in somebody's in somebody's house so they look like they got a lot of bums sticking out the wall and these ones they look like they got a banana sticking all over yeah it's exactly what it looks like it's interesting isn't it make you ponder the universe and stuff sitting in that kitchen wouldn't it <laughs> what not the place to take a teenage boy and again more evidence of a zeppelins the airship raid by night of uh, a spectator, spectator's viewpoint first world war philadelphia wednesday and you seem to have drones or excuse me dirigibles blowing shit up philadelphia anybody 1913 is that 13 or 15 let's have a look at that date again because that's a bit of a mystery 15 isn't it yeah so that's the uh, first year second year of the first world war apparently it's a mandala effect um philadelphia got blown up by zeppelins so this lady don't take a notice of her pretend she's not there because she wears masks and stuff and she's quite insipid but she goes around collecting rude uh street signs and town signs in britain this one is a wet wang <laughs> a wet wang you smiling she's smiling at a wet wang that's naughty cocking please drive through carefully there's another one as well that keeps flooding there's one in um, england called cockermouth they used to keep saying you're on the news when it's flooded and they try to keep a straight face when they said cock in mouth. Uh, uh. Uh, Lickfold. Ah, that's a nice place. Where are you going, Martin? I'm going to Lickfold. Nice. I know. Ooh, look at her there. That's fucking disgusting. Welcome to Finger Hole. Yeah. Fingering Hole. Fingering Hole. Yeah. Ooh. Welcome to Fingering Hall. Uh, Assington. Assington. Get your mask on. Ooh, Cum Lake. That's nice. Where are you going, Matt? Cum Lake. Actually, we got a place in Wales called Cum. It's up by Evervale. I work there. Where are you working, Matt? Cum. Shitterton. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. They're everywhere. Shitterton. Minge Lane. Oh, I love Minge Lane. Uh, Minge Lane brilliant anyway let's move on <laughs> so this was um in cardiff also and this was i find there's something definitely going on with post offices this was the post office in the docks when i was a kid one of the busiest buildings you can imagine all of the, around james street in the cardiff bay area was a hive of activity um i don't know what this tower is here i can't even imagine now it's just like everything else um uh, probably under here will be uh sun tans nails vape shop um more nails hairdressers barbers more nails sun tan because that's all the shops in the world now no one else is doing fuck all else am i wrong no you know i'm not anyway so look at this outdoor stage here in 1960 all phoenician weird demonic creatures on there though there it is in the modern day no one gives a shit anymore. So I left a rack and ruin in there in the old day. It mind you, it looks different scale, doesn't it? It looks really big in the old days. Hmm. 1916. That is a shame. And this thing here on top has gone missing as well, hasn't it? They got that demon there, but all this is gone. Huh. Okay. Before and after. This building, isn't it weird how it doesn't look all that amazing in 2021, this building here. But you go to 1893, it's in the middle of nowhere and it looks fantastic. Middle of nowhere, and then it's in the city centre. <coughs> Crazy, isn't it? You can drive through there. Weirdly, though, there's no cars. This is amazing. It's got uh, this got blown up in 1940s in uh, 
burning of Dresden. It's just unbelievable building. And the tower uh, screams to me, Bloom Tower. But again, with the Antiquatech there, these sure are made of metal, crowns on top, unbelievable. Massive big granite, looks like a mud flooder. And that was blown up by the Bomber High Command in 1940. Four, I think it was. So here's some more weird religion. Yeah. Jedi mind tricked you. Yeah. He's dead. He's gone. He's missing. He's gone. Where is he? I can still see his feet in his hand. He hasn't pulled it off. All oh, right. Can you see me? Yes, we can see you, Lord. Uh, and your heart. Uh, back to the magic book. Witchcraft, I mean. <laughs> so. Here's a lady from the old days. She's got a hat like a fly, made of lace, sticking all the way out here. She could be a conehead. I think it's a tech myself and some sort of protection, these uh, lace things. They were treated with arsenic and they had electromagnetic properties. So, Still got 621 watching the Matt Leaker channel. Still a few of you on the Celtic Italian channel. Thanks for joining. I'm going to come back and give you all a few shoutages, get, regain my my Brian, because I've been talking for hours. And then we're going to get out there into the realm. It's nearly three hours. See this? What happens? Yeah. A picture of Dorian Grape by Oscar Wilde. Yes. Seen better days. That painting's just aging. Aye. Sad tale, sad tale. So. Again, the Asian world, Greece, look at this, all blackened and burnt, even then. Like the apocalypse hasn't happened long before. It even still looks a bit damp. Again, your world, blackened, smashed. And that's what's supposed to be like Rome, but it's Phoenicians. And there's Durer again. Some strange. This sort of, you know, 1505 uh, Durer does these pictures. He's got um, Pan, who's playing his pipe, who's Bacchus. He's got a goatee bottom. And this woman, in the words, he's playing music at the baby. First generation in that, in that after that reset, maybe 1500s. See this? Fat fuck noodle bar. This maybe this be a lesson to you guys. Noodles are very fat in him. Fat fuck. Shit what? Fat fuck. Seen this one? Sushi seafood bar buffet. Fuck me. Where are you going? Fuck me. What? No, I'm going to the sushi bar. Fuck me. All oh, right. Phew. And the cycle of reincarnation. Being recycled in. Being recycled out. Nothing new under the sun. I definitely think reincarnation is a thing. That's me. I'm coming back. And I also think the Tibetan Book of the Dead is a thing. I think this is how the selection process for coming back. Sevilla, was it Baron? Thank you so much. Okay, let's have a look what is going on in the chat feed. <laughs> 680 of you still watching. Thanks so much for popping by, guys. You had a good flat day night? I'm going to be back this week. I've got loads more going on. If you want to catch up, drives available, 47,000 of my juicy images of antiquity. Fuck sushi. No like that. I love my sushi. And I like that shiitake. It's got an unfortunate name, like the shit-taki. You know. Everything is opposite. Read backstage, Martin. Okay, it is. Everything is reversed in this place. I've noticed. Can a dummy? What's happening? And Ryan's in the house. I thought that was a portrait of the Dorian Gray. Dorian Gray. Uh, a great night. Thank you, Missy. So, and Shari Baby is in the house. Tara Payne's in the house. Beep, beep. Anson's in the house. Yay. Thank you for, be, for being there. Thank you for everything. And his hippie shake doing her sharing stuff, sharing my thumb drives. And the money would be used wisely that I use, actually, guys, uh, with the drives. my business, is to get to America to spread the word, okay? And my word, which is a really, really good one. And my um, discoveries and subjects, like all of them that I just showed you, that are all for way on TikTok fucking world, um, like they thought you're all up. You know what I mean? So, so 
I guess I'm, you know, sneakily trying to gain ownership for some of it because, you know, they get a runway with themselves somewhere in time. Ego. Ego. But not really, because it's my life's work out of ability. I put a lot in, or everything in. Nancy, good to see you. The trek. My life's work. My son, who is Welsh Dragon Metals. Vibes is in the house. Zanny, Zania. Salve, good to see you. And a literalist. Shao Baby, CP. Yay. Claire. Crumpus. Okay. It's K. Baron. Dallas. Tangy. Yay. Tangy's in the house. Loyal Tangy. She got Loyal Tangy got a good name. It's loyal, isn't it? And uh, it's apt. Sending you love, Valerie. Everyone send Valerie lovage. Let's do that inner work. Okay. Hell, she is from Star Trek. So I hope you enjoyed the show as well, son. See all of the, you know, panic of the disco that I have trying to get all of this stuff together. It's never an easy thing, especially with time is limited. I got so much to do. It's unbelievable. Um, what's that album, Billy? Yeah, Come By Chance, uh, Dil Dido. Uh, I don't know what that is. Dido's a good singer, though. I think I might have said something else. Barney, good to see you. Little wing, little wingage. Good to see you. Magdavelli and another Ryan in the house. Good to see you, Ryan. <laughs> Don Minge Lane. I know it's good, that, isn't it? Did he? Do you have a giggle? Yeah, of course you do. It's all fun, isn't it? If you've never giggled, there's something wrong. Something wrong. I bet even if you're depressed, you just sneak a giggle. So like, if you're a depressing, moaning bastard, you don't want your wife to know you're happy, you could sneak a giggle. Go to the toilet, have a laugh, have a giggle. <laughs> so many rude places. There is no order. They do it on purpose, like that cockamouth. Is there any need for it? You know, why would you name a place that anyway? It's weird. Anyway, Pat S, what about the people who live there? But they're not very innocent there, are they? No, not really. Uh, how about fucking Austria? Oh, uh, how about it? Baron? Oh, here's a taffy for the people, by the people, who is, Fochrich is my favourite. <laughs> I like it that, you know, in Wales, in our language, we got like a C letter is designated by a double L. Okay, a C. So if you say, <laughs> it's a C. So the word cunt becomes chlunt. So if you say, you're a bit of a chlunt, they don't know shit, and you call them a cunt. Brilliant. Which is not as bad as words it is in Britain as it is in America. You're probably really like, oh my God, did he just say that? In Britain, you can call your mate it. It's like, what's happening, bro? You can't, you. It don't mean nothing. Yeah, it's just an ordinary word. In Britain, they'll swear. It's just our culture. It's proper scummy. It's Britain. Yeah? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Misty World's in the house. And I'm going to thank you all for popping by. This is coming up to um, 8, 9, 10, 2 hours and 20 minutes. There's other stuff happening on the realm. I've got other stuff. I think I'll just show you these pictures of um, pretty Copenhagen. I've showed some before in the past, but these are beautiful. So we'll have a look at them, and then we're going to scoot out. So wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. Friendly or fish by the sea. Been there many times, and there's that mermaid. It's bleeding tiny. I was totally disappointed, but the, that's the main feature you think of in Copenhagen is the mermaid sitting on a rock, which is, you yeah, know, right up my street. But check that out, guys. Have a retender thing, but it looks like it's the top of a building. It's like where's the rest? It's completely top heavy, completely disproportionate. We see a lot of similarities with the dome buildings, don't we? With the structure, the portals, even the angle. It's all a similar for angel technology. That's what it is. So, yeah, there it is. It used to be Christian Sund. And um, it was all canally. They got no electric trams. That one looks mud flooded, whatever that building is. It's got a quadriga on the top as well. Interesting. So, look at that. That looks mud flooded, covered in all of their weird demons. Look at that. Look at the demon. But I bet one like that initially. 
bet the statues came later with the amplification of all of antiquity when they found it. Tataria after they wiped it all out out of jealousy. So no infrastructure in the street per se, not really much on the way of transport either. Few horse and carriages, and you got that big massive opera house. Fantastic. Again, taking a two story, all M people on one horse, and the wheels look shit. But the world looks beautiful, everyone's turns out really fantastic. Tivoli. There's a cafe in there. I'd love to time travel and go walk in these places. I love Denmark. Denmark's awesome. People are really cool. They're like somewhere across between Swedish and Germans, I guess. They are sort of German, but not really. Wouldn't call them German in Denmark if I read. Look at that. Oh, absolutely fantastic. I got a sticker with Phil Daniels in the corner. Sorry about that, guys, for spoiling your imagery. Let me bring it off. I don't like doing that. Coming back for a second. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So I can see all the images properly. In case you want to screenshot them or anything, it's just you don't want that <clears throat> in there. Does that make sense? Sure do. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I found this unusual. See that building in the background? The Greco Romano one? It's completely empty. I mean, see through the contents, the inside's gone. What do you make of that? Yeah, no. Spooky. Look at this, though. Beautiful, isn't it? But these have been colorized images, so, you know, obviously there's some alterations, not a massive amount of people. <laughs> Copenhagen uh, Park building there. And on the wall, uh, yeah, I used to li like going to a uh, dock in Copenhagen. They got outside toilets for the men. Look at that fountain thing, whatever it is. A few people here. They're selling yellow tires. What for? Are they yellow tires, guys? Don't mean the tires been invented. They got a motor car. What are they? Pineapple rings. They really do look like yellow tires, guys. Anybody concur? What else they could be? Cheeses with a hole in the middle. As big as people, maybe. Maybe a big, big old chunk of parmesan. Oh, look at that coming down the river. Oh, I know how they steer it. It's no sails up. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen, friendly old fish from the sea. That's a good little, uh, little boat. Got a seat on it. They're like a lot of doors floating. Or maybe they're just birth, births. Okay. So that looks like the Tower of Babel, that is. And it's shining as well. So it's made of metal. It's got a metal ball on top. This is a glass paint photo. It's really early. Oh, as I said, I'd love to time travel. I bet it'd be amazing eh, that day. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, look at the size of that one. Again, with the Belfry. Belfry, Belfry, Antiquitech. Crazy building. And the Phoenician columns, which we see all the time, with the same Phoenician goddage on top. A massive domed building. Oh, what we got here? Ah, it's that same entrance. I'm sure what that is an entrance for. I'm guessing maybe a cemetery. Just a guess. So that doesn't look like it belongs because it's part of the... Oh! Tivoli Exposition. It was the entrance to the exposition. Shit, now we know. Look at all that. The knobblies on there. That's light bulbs.
what's the date 1907 fully electrified in denmark but their horses are on uh, their transports on horses but they got a fully electrified exposition that looks old world them two there not many people around though girl watching a cameraman what's that say there entrance to burned palace it burned that's what i spotted earlier palace burned hmm interesting why that burned businessmen and shoppers in Ostgrid, did uh, Copenhagen, 1906. Strange with no cars around. America's got cars. San Francisco, 1906. All the cars in the world in Main in Market Street in San Francisco. <coughs> okay, there's the band. Off to uh, go and do some carnage. Kids used to love the band going past. Tiddly um pum pum. I used to. They used to come around on a Sunday, and the Salvation Army used to come around with their brass band. We used to get awfully excited. An interesting tower. What's going on with that? It's like a landing platform. Super interesting. I think it's a landing platform. Okay. Royal Palace at Rosenborg. 1908. Got one guard and he looks a bit cheesed off for the whole thing. Uh, it's Lewis Bridge. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, the beautiful photos, which is rather a lot of them. Antiquatech. So they've gone electric by by this period. Electric tramage. Wow, fine art. Saloon of Knights in the Palace of Rosenberg. Borg. Okay, let's move on. Question statue. Ugh. I love horses, but you know, they don't look right with people on them. Let's see John Wayne. Get off your horse and drink your milk. Okay. Look at the size of that thing. Crazy, isn't it? They had no toilets and only one person lived in it. On his own. Baron von Wanker probably heard of him so there it is it's a massive star fort I've posted about it before it's got a small satellite star for unbelievable all of it surrounded like all european cities are and most american to give it superior protection in the past from electromagnetic weaponry ha 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 okay that's it so i'm coming back i want the world to know Gotta let it show. Okay. Marticus Faticus Squire, 600 of you still watching. Double fat thumbs to infinity fries, I think, for tonight. We're going to have a wee fat thumb. Okay, you doing that at home? Okay, no one will judge you. No one's going to see you. Ah, I can see you. No, I can. So, movie props indeed, kind of dummy. The whole thing is a stage show, mate. All of these people that people go on about like they're real just fucking actors never gonna meet them in a million years where are all these billionaires you see them down more than that no do you fuck never ever will either where do they live in different worlds that's where even if they exist jessica joe flag baron joe guilford we love you shall be we cb the fuck is my son swearing oi don't swear son liddy all right 32 you would swear D'Angelo. Okay. Good to see you all anyway. Thanks for all popping by for another amazing flatter day. I'm right naughty. Yeah, I know, Kay. We know. We know. We love you for it. <laughs> Pamela. Woohoo. She loves the pics. Good for you. Thank you, Pamela. Um, Martin, have you got some photographs of South Pole Antiquitech? No, them ones was um AI mate. And like I'm not doing showing AI pictures because it's like, not good untrustworthy so that's why i'm not showing them because they're obviously ai i've been doing this for like years and they, believe you me if any antiquitech or greco-romano architect had showed up in antarctica i'd fucking know all about it 
but they never they just shit out nowhere this year when the ai app turned up by the way and it looks exactly like stuff on the ai, AI app jessica just saying clear funny uh, so many times i've gone through images and thought well that's a shame because that would have been fucking fantastic if it had been real Krampus david thank you for popping by i've had i've had this my bro to see you our lady t t virus and our hippie shake who's sharing my uh paypal and patreon if you want to join them there's membership available as well all helps with the productions of flat earth british and everything else that we do which is a lot by the way this is we do a lot here you would be very very surprised this manage the else manny and john to youtube you like peru do you good 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 never been i want to um i do dallas please what's that to the dallas i do dallas like debbie does dallas um <laughs> uh noon's flower okay lovely i'm going to get some too so that's hippie shake talking to my friend noonsy who's there snora who's there somewhere okay there's donna everything was beautiful in its own way okay don't break out into song never go through the full retard on youtube i'm sending i love to valerie flat earth rocks yes lightning storm missed last night yeah we got storm here last night and if you shit the weather's been shit on a stick here didn't even know when it's going to be summer it won't matter anyway when with the seven weather suits my clothes um uh, acdc best band ever ever except the bond scott one not the other one tara oh when bond scott went the little world was not the same timothy was very unhappy that day lisa the fuck bond scott dead fuck off no oh no i was like that cheech i oh, know Chilton's. I was worse when John Lennon died. The worst was when, like, Elvis fucking died. My mother's like, oh! I was upstairs. I was like, oh, my mother's crying. So I run downstairs. What's the matter? He's dead. He's dead. I thought she was on about my old man, my father. I was like, oh, right. She's like, no, Elvis. So, like, oh, fuck. He's not, is he? Yeah. And then when um, John Lennon died, she didn't give a fuck. And I was like, I was in a really bad way. So what am I going to do now? This is John Lennon's dead. I was like that. Now I couldn't give a fuck. Now I see him as a fucking twat. All of them. Social engineering motherfucker. Devil worshippers. That's what I see him as. Pacific Northwest. Can see my friend Gareth's in the house as well. So if I haven't give you a shout, make sure to uh, stick your head in chat now. Say night. Say nostalgia give all your brothers and sisters a big old big fat cutch go and love on them for a bit okay typical english guy good to see you man good to see you too dave what are you saying august 5th 1991 anyone um jerry garcia i don't know what that is can't remember that um, I thought John Lennon went to Tahiti behind bars along with uh, Petty and Bowie. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's with Tom Petty. Yeah, yeah. Free falling. And uh, David Bowie's been going through some changes. Okay. Yeah, they're all living together. Kirk Cobain's there. When he's been told to play quieter because he's making them all deaf. Kirk Cobain plays loud. He's Melage. That's that, man. I didn't know he was there, Mel. Let's see you, lucky. Um, and ev and everybody so not start the key have an awesome weekend sunday tomorrow make sure to stay fantastic make sure to keep your vibration up there and be happy okay come to flat earth british i'll give you lessons and to be happy break pattern i'll give a fuck manifest in your own reality and there's also detective campbell we love you campbell yay so we've got all star all star chat feed as well we got it all going on here yeah. yeah mel question everything's in the house as well good to see you I didn't see you there did leno sell his soul oh, yeah fuck yeah they all do they sell a soul to the boss see i don't actually think like you know that you know that a physical like devil turns up with a physical contract that makes you sign it. i think the devil is the industry itself 
and i think that they're just using devils and demons so you can like blame the devils and demons when really it's just bad men is what i think especially when it comes to the vatican aaron Cheers, you fuckers. So, ding good to see you ah oh q u cha you smoke dutch and ma moon stick yes lennon bro uh bought and sold yeah yeah they all do see when the same happened to you too they was all funky when they did the war album in october as soon as joshua tree came out they sold signed the contract signed the papers and then they're off on fucking you know we're fantastic next thing you know um bono's hanging around with a fucking pope it's like how come you know you're in you too and you're hanging around with some religious leader or go and see tongue tongue sucker what's his name dalai lama well they're all in the same fucking gang it makes me feel pukey i know because i noticed on magazines the british public or the public in general they look at like the worst people in magazines you know the people who are on television these are people with no charisma nothing interesting to say ugliest dog shit and they're just fucking crap excuse my language not really and then british people like put them on high, on pedestals and high esteem um i'll give you an example shall i q jumping horny willoughby yeah she takes pictures of herself every single day like in a distant thing like like she's good looking or something it's like i'm a man yeah i can honestly tell you you just you're a, you're a q jumper horny will it be that's what i'm saying law and his male taunts my, my son lawrence campbell bustling billy's in the house missy's in the house hi missy hi nigel hi dave thomas is in the house hi tom thomas hi paul good to see you hi brian back in question everything. jack of all trades there good night to you to denise jerry garcia died august 9th I don't know who Jerry Garcia is. Maybe I do. I don't. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, Linda, who is um, God and Goddess. Good to see you. Thank you as well for bringing your vibration. Anyone who is like you today, and there's so many of you, 500 of you, more of that. We're just all in this special moment together, guys. Think about it. Yeah. We're not wasting life. We're doing something fun. We're doing something really interesting. Aren't we? We're learning stuff. We're looking at beautiful stuff. And we're having a giggle together all of us together no bad energy no icky fucking vibes all good stuff yeah fuck yeah we're gonna be for me that's why we're feeling good yeah yeah tongue sucker <laughs> i knew Della lama was fucking social engineer way way back after he brought all that book um the universe and the single atom i was like reading and he just got right down a quantum mechanics field and i'm like well god you're spiritual you're supposed to be a leader of a fucking religious movement you're going all like oh yeah it's all like just coming out of the quantum fuzziness from the wave function and collapse obviously in his tongue sucky voice yeah it's quite a mechanic isn't it yeah or whatever he talks like anyway alva billy dave knuckles hippie alva all the gang in the house getting a big shortage off mellage Oh gosh, that reminds me of the article title, Transgender Man Gives Birth. Yeah, if you Google man giving birth, um, it says that they can, but they're making all that up because obviously they fucking can. That's just fucking stupid. And men having periods, yeah, sticking fucking like tampons up their bums and like putting some out of sauce up there so it looks like they're having a period. This is what... I know, sorry, I should have said that. But like, yeah. Jilly! Oh yeah. Sending you love, Jilly. If you um Jilly proof here, you can find CBD products linked in the description box below. It's the best ones available, probably in the UK. Really strong, juicy stuff, and it's better than buying paracetamol down the shops. So don't do shit except for clog up your fucking liver. Get on the CBD. It's got a really good for getting getting you um asleep as well. Keith, yeah, get on it. Find that link down below. Okay, Chris Marsden. Thank you for popping by. Tracy, small town girl. Ryan, big up London man's in the house, is he? Adrian, London man's up there somewhere. Okay, so there's stuff happening out there. Some, oh, there you are. London, love it, my brother. 
and Skylarking and Dave Garland and ooh. so if you haven't checked London McLovin he's doing a chat feed he goes live most days get over there check his channel out like I do somewhere that I go and listen to quite often it's my thing got my little gang of people I listen to there's one of them there Mount Lee in Mount Lindus Incorporated you want to bump me uh oh, I'm trying I'm trying I was hoping that you all didn't notice <laughs> Okay. Hi, Marticus. Oh, I'm coming back. Yes, I'm coming back. Britain's sinking ship. Coming back to America and flat to for Flattoberfest. No, I'm not going to be doing Flattoberfest. Uh, John, I haven't actually been invited. Only um, Dave Murphy and Dave and um, Mac Devlin. Well, enough. And I've had them twice on two of my conventions, by the way. And now they're going to America to do exactly the same. In Flattoberfest, which I never get invited to, by the way. There must be a reason. I'm flat earth British. It's weird. I was one of the first flat earthers in the whole world to come out and in Britain. It's like just really weird. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Dallas. Oh, oh, oh. Lily. Mac. Mac Lewis. Stop making that bad financial advice. That was a joke. Gregory. D. And Otto also goes over McLovin's to hang out sometimes. All, all, all the YouTube stats goes over the London McLovin's. Yeah, that's where we all go. And it's Valerie there. Okay, I'm going. I've been talking for nearly three hours. 500 of you. If you did like this video, could you please like it? If you are interested in a drive, a thumb drive, I will send it to you. And that includes postage to anywhere in the realm except for Antarctica for 47,000 images and 7,150 books. You can find that in the description box below or pinned in the chat feed there at the top. You can see it there if you are interested. And I will have them off this week. Okay. Will I be streaming with Max Egan? Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a thing with Max and Jason RKX and um, Logan Jason uh, from uh, Synchronicity Society. We will be doing a meet a big one in america and you're all invited yeah no but that's not let the cat out of the bag jason's already let the cat out of the bag on that one so that's going to be happening in the next month or two you're going to be seeing that happening in america land with yours truly i know it's your chance to come see me meet up give me hugs we read read <laughs> susan <laughs> Uh, much love thank you cheryl we love you we love you thank you for bringing your vibration jolly man great stream thank you jolly man you're awful awesome there you are there's that thing for my sticks okay wait survive america fund and linda there you are chris mazda richard strack good to see you my bro uh martin um is is this gaining a waning in evidence and and war keeps flip-flopping well they do flip-flop especially people you never know their face or who they are or anything like that and they're just like youtube's golden boys and anyone who actually mirrors their video gets like fifty thousand subscribers and half a million views just for sharing it i've never in 2000 videos mirrored anybody's videos all of the content millions of minutes is all me all my findings all my content to say and the think tanks help obviously darren martin can you uh state the difference between both drives um and they're both different uh items well um the drives uh, the images are all in separate files for example every city in the world all like antiquitech mud floods everything you can imagine that i've posted on my channel for the last years Forty-seven thousand images on a drive one of these Okay, thumb drive and the images, the books, PDFs, 7,150 old books, everything you can imagine. Books on spirituality, shamanism, mysticism, um, alchemy, history, everything you can imagine, all the classics, everything. Think of a book in your mind and it will be in there because I paid that experiment. I've just thought of a book and it's there. So, clear boys. And that will be sent out to you. 
there's about four people i think still waiting be with you very shortly done a good job this week getting them all out and i've worked it all out how to get this done um i would have the images but i don't have any money right now um oh i was going to do a competition i'll do it next week i'll do a competition where somebody could win a hard drive but that would take ages now my brain's gone so I can't okay well jilly proof the same wow okay i gotta go going guys yeah just ordered eight pound deal can't wait all right it won't be with you in britain or america it doesn't matter where you are australia new zealand i'll send it off to you and includes postage as well okay so got it down now with the customs papers get it through quick just got it down so it's good so anyway thank you guys that's been an epic flat day i'll be back very soon keep an eye on my page i've got another three channels if you don't know matter league is nectar Catholic Italian channel and flat of British think tank, all of them below. You can find loads and loads, hundreds and thousands, a uh, thousand videos on the Tatarian, 1100, hundreds on all the others. You can check all the other content out as well as this channel. We got a lot going on and on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, everywhere, really. Anyway, that's us. Flat of British, Matt League channel, um, AKA Marticus Farticus. I don't fart, guys. I'm a, well, um, a squire. I don't know what that means. Be good. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Love you.